This program is brought to you by the friends and partners of AMI. Hallelujah Ministries International believes in the Bible and Christ. We are Christ-centered and Jesus is at the heart of everything we believe and do. Our mission is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Through this mission, we seek to empower believers and equip them with the tools to share the gospel with the world and to live a life of faith, hope and love in Christ. Jesus remains the same yesterday, today and forever. Just as it was in scripture, his power is at work today in the church. We are AMI. Hallelujah. 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 I greet you all in the name of Jesus. May we rise in the presence of the Lord and just give thanks to the God Almighty for new mercies that Amen. he has given us today. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, mighty God, we thank you, O oh Lord, for your grace. We thank you for new mercies, O oh God. We thank you for fresh anointing, O oh glorious King. Mighty God, we exalt your holy name this morning, O oh God, because you are awesome in this place and you are worthy of all the glory. You are worthy of all the adoration, O oh God. We welcome you in this place, Holy Spirit. We say, do your way, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, as we open our hearts, O oh, oh God, to receive your word, O oh God, to receive the declarations, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We glorify you, O oh God. We worship you, O oh God. We magnify your holy name, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
God is a good God. Hallelujah. God is a faithful God. Hallelujah. God is a merciful God. Hallelujah.
Jesus, put your hands together for the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. I'm not sure if you are hearing me this morning. I said, put your hands for the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. There is no one that is higher than your God. He is supreme. Hallelujah. The vuvuzelas are going. The flags are going. One more time with your clap offering to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. With that, I, as a son of my father, I want to welcome you to the special celebration service all across the auditorium. All families are present and we are excited. Abraham blessed his children. Joseph blessed his children. Alf Lukau is in the house to bless you and to bless me. Hallelujah. You are so welcome this morning into our celebration service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ministries International, won't you just put your hands together for our King. Put your hands together for our King of Kings, for the Lord of Lords. Oh, let them let it let him hear rivers of praise and worship from your mouth today, this morning. Am I? Won't you just tell your king that he doesn't have to raise stones? He has you. We Come on, am I? He 
habits, the praises of his children. I can't hear you, Amar. We can't go forward. You need to praise the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He has brought you here. Won't you just thank him in advance for the one that is next to you, the one that you have invited to the family service. Won't you just tell him this morning and thank him in advance for the one that's next to you. Come on, am I? You've brought a soul into the house. You've brought your family into the house. So won't you lift up the praises to Jesus because it is him that has destined this moment that you have your family and your friends in the auditorium with you. So family, I greet you and I welcome you to the celebration service, our family service with the great apostle Elf Lukau. Hallelujah. I, now, am I? Now, I can't now, hear now, you. Now, 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 are we happy to be in the house of God? Hallelujah. It was good to get to the house of God. I want to see if there is a distinction of fathers who clap their hands to the Lord and mothers. Children, you keep quiet. I want to hear every father and every man in the house of God. Give the Lord a clap offering this morning. Men only, men only. Now, women, let's just hear it for the one next to you. Come on, ladies, just put your hands together for yourself. Woohoo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! All right, all right, we are one in Christ. Men, women, and children, put your hands together as families under heaven. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And whilst you are doing that, moms, dads, sons, and daughters, would you put your hands together for the best father that we have? The best, the best of the best. The general overseer and senior pastor of Hallelujah Ministries International online join me as we salute and greet the man of God, Apostle of Lukau. Come on, come on, come on. Amen. Come on, family. This moment has been destined by God. He has put the word in God's mouth, in the prophet's mouth. God has put the word in the prophet's mouth for your time today. Put your hands together one more time for Apostle Elf Lukas. Hallelujah. Daddy, I love you. I honor you today. There is no other like you. And family, whilst you're on your feet, let us put our hands to our, uh, together for our fathers, Eze. One more time for our, our fathers, Eze, the glue that holds this family together. You know, family of God, sometimes we don't see the glue, but the glue is there. Put your hands together for the First Lady of Alleluia Ministries International, Bishop Celeste Lucal. Mommy, we call you blessed. We love you. We honor you. And we thank you that you are the mother the prophetess of our life. One more time for your mom. Am Hallelujah. I? Amen. Be Hallelujah. The you may take your seats, family. It is so great to be in the house of God. One more time, those of you who are on site, those of you who are online, we greet you. I pray that sons and daughters will settle down. If your parents are here for the first time, don't make it too difficult for them. Remain seated. If you need any help to get to the bathroom or something, just reach out to the Asha. Let your parents' experience today be a very pleasurable one in the name of Jesus. Amongst us, we have those who are visiting us for the very first time. You've come on Friday. You are here again. As we settle down this morning, I want you to stand. I believe today we'll have many who are visiting us for the first time and even after a very long time. Can I ask you to rise right where you, yes, rise where you are. We bless you. Hallelujah Ministries God. International. Let Let's celebrate what God is doing in our midst. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are so welcome. May you regard this as your home, sir, ma'am, and may the Lord bless you indeed. Blessed Hallelujah. be the name of the Lord. Family, won't you just enjoy the service? God bless you, and it's time for the announcements. 
Catch Pastor Alf Lukau live daily for the rise of the prophetic voice where the man of God goes deeper into the word of God from 5 p.m. until 6 p.m. Central African time. This will exclude Fridays and Sundays. Pastor Alf Lukau will also be live daily. This will be Let's Pray, a powerful moment of prayer with Pastor Alf Lukau from 10 p.m. until 11 p.m. Central African time. You can follow our man of God on his Facebook page, Alf Lukau. On Instagram, still Alf Lukau. And on Twitter, the handle is at Alf Lukau. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Pastor Alf Lukau. Don't forget to click on the bell for notifications on our live services and new videos. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau on these following TV stations. Faith World TV in the United Kingdom, broadcasting both online and on Sky Channel 589 every Saturdays from 7 a.m. until 7.30 a.m. Pastor of Lukau is now on Soweto TV, Channel 251, every Sunday evenings from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m. We also have our own 24-7 TV channel, AMI TV, on the public bouquet, airing all over Africa and Europe 365 days a year. Our service times are as follows. We have our teaching and healing service every Friday from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. You are invited to come and fellowship with us every Sunday. Join us for our morning glory service, which starts from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m., followed by our celebration service, which starts from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m., and lastly, our Holy Ghost service from 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. Hallelujah Ministries International is not a church of members, but a church of disciples. We have home sales held Wednesday evenings from 6.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. If you don't belong to any home sale, please either call the office or go to the home sale desk in the foyer on a Sunday. Here is a step-by-step -step guideline on how to make safe online payments to Alanulia Ministries International from any country around the globe using your computer, your laptop, your cell phone, or any device of your choice. Let's begin. The first step would be to open your web browser Type in www.alleluliaministries.com. This will lead you to Alleluia Ministries International's welcome page. Select the tab written Online Giving, where you will find our three different payment options. Namely, PayPal, Nedbank, and lastly, credit card or debit card payment options. For payment via PayPal, click on the PayPal icon, which will redirect you to our PayPal payment page. Insert the amount you wish to transfer and click on the option donate with PayPal or donate with credit card. If you're paying with your credit card, fill in all your details, your credit card number, and click the box below to confirm that you've read all the information and finally click on donate now. For payments into our NetBank account, use only the banking details on Alleluia Ministries International's website. Our NetBank details are as follows. Account name, Alleluia Ministries International, NPC. Account number, 120-582-7692 Branch code 197005 Swift code NEDSZAJJ Use your name and surname as reference or use the purpose of your payment as reference. For example, tithes, seed offering, prophetic seed, IVP accommodation or TV ministries. To donate using a credit card or debit card Fill in the information below in detail. Kindly note that payments will be deducted in South African rands. Once all information has been filled in correctly, agree to the terms and conditions by clicking the box on your bottom left corner. Proceed to click on Place Order. Once all payments are made, you will receive an email from Alleluia Ministries International confirming that your payment has been well received. These are our only payment options and you are advised to take extra caution. Thank you for your time, and may God bless you as you send forth your seed. Beloved, it is time for our offering. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Am I, can we settle down, please? I see a lot of movements. I know there are people coming in, but can we settle down? And can we now put our hands together and give all praises to the King of glory, to the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. 
Make a Holy Ghost crazy noise for the Lord in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm excited to be in the house of the Lord this morning. And before we go further, can we please put our hands together in honor of our man of God, the general overseer and senior pastor of Hallelujah Ministries International, His Grace, Apostle Alf Lukau. Come on. Blessed be the name of the Lord with the same joy. Put your hands together in honor of the First Lady of Hallelujah Ministries International, our spiritual mother, Bishop Celeste Lukau. You may be seated in God's presence. I acknowledge each and every one of you. I honor you and I salute you. Welcome to our celebration service. This one is a special one because it is a family blessing Sunday. Amen. Now we're about to talk about God's money, so I really want you to settle down. Please minimize the movement, minimize the noise. This is a very important section of uh, the service. We all know about the story of uh, Jesus Christ standing and being right next to the basket. And as people were coming and uh, giving unto God, he was there watching the whole process, how everything was happening, so much so that he could testify of the person that had given the most. My prayer is that as the Lord is watching today, that you will be that person that heaven will recognize as the one who has given the most. Remember, it is never about equal giving. It is always about equal sacrifice. May your sacrifice be great in the sight of the Lord, and may your sacrifice be accepted today, you know, as a seed for the blessing of your family. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I want to remind you of our Thanksgiving services that are to come on the 28th of April and on the 5th of May. Those are the two dates where we will be having our Thanksgiving offering. Our ushers do have the Thanksgiving envelopes and I will pray that right now you will lift your hand so that you can receive your envelope. Lift your hand for your Thanksgiving envelope. It is coming to you. That is the one that you are going to receive. That is where you are going to put your Thanksgiving offering. Let it not just be something that you will go about on the day. We are giving you the envelope so that you can pray over it and you can pray over that which the Lord will have you put in that envelope as a thanksgiving offering. Remember the reason why we do this? It is because we recognize that if it hadn't been for the Lord who was on our side, we will not be able to make it from one end of the month to the other. So if we have been able to see the month through, it is not because we had so much. It was all because of the grace and the favor of God and that is the reason why we have to say thank you. And as we always say, the same Thanksgiving offering becomes also the seed offering for the upcoming month. So that the God who saw you through during the month of April will also be the same God that will see you through the month of May. Make sure that you don't just allow that envelope to pass you by. Taking the envelope is already an act of faith and an act of obedience, recognizing that God will put in your hand what you need to put in that envelope. The Bible says uh, he gives a seed to the sower. And I pray that that shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
a second envelope while I remind also those who are watching us on YouTube, on Facebook, on AMI TV, I remind you the dates for our Thanksgiving services, 28th of April 2024 and 5th of May 2024. Uh, we also have the tithe envelope. This one is also important for you. There is no specific date for the time where we are supposed, or the service when we are supposed to bring our tithe to the house of the Lord. Every time you get your income, you know that 10% of it belongs to the Lord, and whatever service, you bring it, and you come and pay your tithe. And this is also an opportunity for you to lift your hand if you need an envelope for your tithe, lift your hand. They shall indeed be right next to you, an usher that will gladly and joyfully uh, give you an envelope. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm going to ask now those who have brought already their tithe in the house of the Lord today to come forward. And maybe you have the money, but you do not have the envelope. Remember, there is an envelope right next to you. There is an usher that will give you an envelope. Put it in an envelope. Don't just bring the money like that. But if you are here, you have your tithe, you have the 10% of your income that you have prepared to come and pay in obedience to the word of God, please come forward. And if you're here and you've made it through EFT, You've already, you know, transferred your tithe into um, the church's account. Please, by all means, come forward as well. Because this prayer is your prayer in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going as the people are still coming. Therefore, urge those who are watching us online to move now. The online payment uh, options and methods are on the screen right now. PayPal. Um, credit and uh, debit card payment, as well as the net bank banking details are on your screens. Use them now, move now, pay your tithes, obey God now, and let his blessing be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive you as we come, as you come. As we come to the altar, we lift our envelope before the Lord. Those who made their payment through EFT, we lift our hands. Speak a word unto the King of glory. Your altar, your life. As you bring that envelope, don't do it casually. This is a very spiritual moment, a life-changing moment. Speak a word before you drop that envelope in the name of Jesus and the God of this altar the God of your father the God of our flukau will honor your faith and will reward your obedience in the mighty name of Jesus so shall it be for those who are online it is your portion as well in the name of Jesus let us pray Father, how beautiful the obedience of your sons and daughters. We thank you for your word. And we thank you for giving us a heart to align and conform to the word that you have released. Oh, reward now on this very day the obedience of your sons and daughters. And let every promise contained in the word of God as it pertains to paying tithes, be now their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, every person that is here, 
every family that is represented by them, every job that is represented here, every income generating activity that is represented here. Lord, I pray now your supernatural blessing upon it and upon them in the name of Jesus. Bless them now, as the Bible says, with such a blessing that there shall be no room enough for them to contain. Lord, rebuke the devourer for their sakes and let nations all around the world call them blessed because of how you have chosen to bless them in this season. We decree and we declare over you increase in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and we declare over you that your territory is enlarging now in the name of Jesus. That God is enlarging your sphere of influence in the name of Jesus. That God is taking you from one level to another. Somebody is moving from local to national, from national to international. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and I declare that there are business ideas that God is dropping into somebody's mind and heart now. They are connections that God is opening doors for you now to receive. In the name of Jesus, there is a networking anointing that is coming to you in the name of Jesus to position you for the best that God has in store for you. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. You are blessed. You can never be cursed. In Jesus' name, amen. You may drop your envelope. Let us get ready to give our worship offering. We are in the presence of the Lord in the house of the Lord. And let your heart speak. I know that it is your hand that is giving. But let your heart speak as your hand is giving. Let that seed, let that offering be an expression of love and worship unto Jehovah. I want you to take the very best that you have. Particularly on this special day. Because you're not just giving for you. You are giving for your family. As you're preparing yourself, we are praying in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we thank you for the substance that you're putting in our hands to worship you with. Thank you, Lord, that we are able to come into the house of the Lord with something in our hands. Now bless our offering, oh God. Bless every hand that is giving right now, on site and online, in the name of Jesus. Meet us at the very point of our needs. Enlarge us, oh God. Yes, again we say, increase us, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray, with thanksgiving. Amen. You may give unto God.
if I may, first of all, thank you. In the year 2019, you blessed not only the family of Alleluia Ministries International, but the entire globe with a word written in a book that has come to change matters on the face of the earth. A book that you have entitled prophetically, The Rise of the Prophetic Voice. Can we put our hands together? Glory to Jesus. To date, my father, to date, that book has become a bestseller worldwide. version we count over three million copies somebody make a holy ghost noise but we know there is a french version there is a spanish version there is an italian version there is a hindi version there is a man hey. version there is an arabic version and now allow me my father to present to you three new versions of the rise of the prophetic official languages among the, among the 22 languages of India. Glory, glory. Rise of the prophetic voice in Polish and we pray it will usher the prophetic anointing into our country. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Uh, this is the Romanian version of the rights of the prophetic voice, the Nansaria Voci Profetice, which is the official translation. We honor you, is a present for you. We God bless you. Glory to Jesus. with you a miracle is about to happen thank you Jesus a lady who traveled all the way from India her heart filled with hope and desperation bound to a wheelchair for six long years her tears of pain had become her only companions little did she know that her encounter with pastor Alf would change her life forever You came here from India. Yeah. You came like this. Yeah. Do you believe God can heal you? Yeah, I believe God. All right. Glory to Jesus. I can't talk. Six years I'm sitting here. Sorry? Six years I'm sitting here. Six years you're sitting here. Yeah. She said for six years she has not walked. Wait. Pastor Alf Lukoru lays his hands on her, reverberating with an energy so intense it seems to defy all worldly laws. His name is Hazel, the Lord, my helper. He is my shield. He will do for me what no man can do. Jesus. auditorium erupts in thunderous applause and tears of awe. Individuals from every corner of the world stand witness to a miracle that transcends borders and speaks to the power of faith. In a world often clouded by doubts and despair, miracles like these remind us that even the darkest hours can be illuminated by a glimmer of hope. Remember, it is in our collective strength, unwavering faith, and relentless pursuit of miracles that we can conquer any obstacle that stands in our path. From India to South Africa might have seemed like a leap of faith, but today she walks tall, a testament to the boundless power of faith that happens when we come together. This incredible moment proves that faith can move mountains, 
and through it, lives are forever transformed. Pastor Alf Lukau's touch reached beyond physical limitations, sparking a flame of faith that will spread like wildfire through the hearts of millions. Shalom, shalom, and shalom, and welcome to the MJ Show. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yet another day to give Him glory, to give Him the honor, to give Him the adoration. I can't hear you, AMI. We are here to testify and give the testimony of Jesus all across the globe. The Bible says that you and I, have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. I want to take this opportunity to thank my spiritual father for this humble opportunity sitting on your altar and giving me the privilege to just say and tell the world how good God is in your life. Thank you for leading us. Thank you for standing for the gospel. And thank you for not bothering what the world says Jesus still heals HIV, he still heals cancer, he still heals the paralytic, the, those ones who cannot see. And thank God for men of God like you who brings us back into our heritage, knowing that what is in you is in us. I love you from the bottom of my heart, together for life. We live together we die together. And I want to say thank you to my spiritual mother, Bishop Celeste Lukau. Oh, you are highly missed. I miss you. I thank God for your great leadership. Uh, you've always been there, but these days we feel the fire. We love you, mommy, together for life. Well, we're going to go straight into our testimony. And what an honor and a privilege to have Pastor Vedeshna and Pastor Rodney. Coming to share with the world out there what God has done in your life. Over to you. Thank you, Bishop Jackie. Good morning, my precious family, both on site and online. I want to thank, thank my spiritual father and my spiritual mom. They are an integral part of this testimony. So mom and dad, I salute you. Bishop Jay. I would not have been sitting here today. I would have been six feet underground. My goodness. Had it not been for the prophetic, had it not been for the prophetic wife, had it mm. not been for the prophetic father again, and Pastor mother. Rodney. A prophetic wife. Put your hands together. A prophetic wife. Don't be jealous. It's not your time. Be prophetic the Bible says, too. <laughs> you know when the Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Somebody needs to write a book on what a good thing means. Oh, wow. I know what it means. For me, it means it, it was the difference between life and death. My wife, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, wonderful. Bishop Jackie, I'm going to hand over to the prophetic woman of God mm. who is the reason why I sit here today. Oh, Jesus. The initial diagnosis mm was something that I was not looking to go and find out no prior symptoms of anything at all. Mm. But for a prophetic wife oh, who is a daughter of our precious father, mm. Apostle Alf Lukau. So I want my wife to just share with the world and share with everybody yes. listening in how the prophetic can save a life. Mm. Pastor V. Amen. Bishop Jackie, thank you for having us. Welcome. I just want to honor the anointing in our house today. Our parents, Bishop Celeste Lucal, and our prophet, Apostle Elf Lucal, won't you just give us Glory one more clap Jesus. offering for the anointing in our house? So, Bishop, it started 
almost 23 months ago, uh, yes. it was February uh, 2022, mm. came out of our long 40 days of fasting. Yes. Went to the hospital for routine checkups. Uh, Pastor Rodney had absolutely no symptoms. There was no mm. inkling of anything that was going on in his body. And remember, we are from Durban, so we have absolutely no idea of the doctors, of the hospitals here yes. in Johannesburg. We are new in Johannesburg at that time. So it, it was a bit of a story for us to find a GP to okay. go for tests and that kind of thing. Uh, eventually, we, we found a GP that was nearby us, and we got an appointment, and whilst in the, in the doctor's rooms, God said to me, he said to me, Bishop Jack, wow. he said to me, mm. I heard, I heard mm. him, we need to do a PSA test. Oh my goodness. Okay, it was specific, and that's what I love about God. Mm. God is Specific. You were in the doctor's room. We were room. in the doctor's rooms. Doctor and didn't speak. The doctor didn't the speak. The Holy Spirit spoke. Yeah. Jesus. So, so, so we must understand we can do many other tests there. And God was specific. He said, you need to do a PSA wow. test. Mm. And I screamed out and I said, doctor, won't you just help me do a PSA test for my husband? And he said, of course I can do it. And uh, he called my husband uh, to have a test uh, uh, whilst there before the bloods came back. Uh, and he called him for a test and he said, uh-oh, there's something here. Mm. Of course, this was no bloods. There was no nothing. It was just the doctor's uh, examination yes. that said something is here. Mm -hmm. Of course, we needed to do bloods and we... Uh, we, we were shell-shocked at that moment. My goodness. Uh, so, so we still had, you know, the, 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 we still had, we, we, we said, absolutely, you know, this is not our portion. We will yes. not accept. We have just come out of 40 days of fasting. Yes. And mm, this is not our portion. Mm. So a long story short, we went for the bloods immediately, got, got the results two days later, Mm. And the doctor says to us, this test is so high. Mm. So, of course, I know nothing about cancer. You hear about cancer. You don't know anything about PSA tests. You know nothing about cancer. The neighbors normally get PSA. It's, it doesn't come home. Mm. So, of course, again, we had no idea of oncologists in Johannesburg. We had no idea where to go to, which hospital to go to. Mm. And the doctor, we found a doctor. We found an oncologist and he said to us, come in two months' time. Okay. And the GP was wise enough and said, no, 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 no. This test is so high. We cannot wait for two months. Oh, Jesus. So eventually the doctor said to me, I have a friend. And those mm. were beautiful words to me. He says, I have a friend. He called up a friend, and the friend got us an appointment the next day. Glory to Jesus. So, lo and behold, I am sitting in an oncologist office uh, because clearly they knew something that I didn't know. They had yes. to take Pastor Rodney for, uh, uh, into hospital, into theater for a biopsy test. And uh, lo and behold, two days later, the test came back positive. Mm. A whole heart and soul shattered there, right there mm. in the doctor's rooms. Um, I, I remember he opened up the file and he said, well, this is positive. We start, we start treatment today. And oh, I'm, wow. I'm still, I'm still the, the test is positive and he's moving on to the, to, to, mm. to the, the treatment. Mm. And oncologists are very blasé. They, they are very matter-of-fact people. They yes. don't beat around the bush. They tell it to you as yes, it, it is. is. So over and above the fact that it was positive, he said to us, this is an extremely aggressive cancer. So oh cancer is God. determined on a Gleason score from 1 to 10. Pastor Rodney's test was 8. Oh, wow. So 8. So, so which means we are in trouble. 
we mm. are in trouble. Mm. We, 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 it is eight. It's eight out of ten, so we know we we yes. having issues. So the doctor said to us, we start uh, cancer medication immediately, which, which includes several operations, several radiation treatments, chemotherapy, et cetera, mm. et cetera, the, the, the whole shebang of, of cancer. Wow. So, so, so we must understand, Bishop Jackie, you know, you, you hear of chemotherapy, you hear of radiation, but you, you really don't know what it is. Yes. You really don't know what it entails to physically go and sit in an oncology room and see a whole room full of cancer patients oh, receiving that kind of treatment. Mm. So, so that began the two mm. painful years of us going through cancer medication. Mm. And Bishop Jackie, that was the diagnosis prophetically. You heard the woman of God. She, the Lord told, the Lord the told her specifically in the room, I mm. need for him to have a PSA test. You had no reference, no, no signs. No signs, no you symptoms. You didn't know what it was until now. I wouldn't know what it is. <laughs> PSA is prostrate specific antigen. Oh. And the Gleason score showed that it was an aggressive mm. cancer. And it needed an immediate medical intervention. It's the mm. reason why the doctor said we need to start immediately. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, Bishop. I had asked the doctor, how long would this have been in my body? Could this have been in my body? He said, at least one year. My goodness. And there were, there were no symptoms at all. Mm. And... Uh, one year prior to that, we had come through our 40 days of fasting and prayer. Yep. This was yet another 40 days of fasting and prayer. And you're serving God and you're going on in the things of God. Yes. And you have this lurking in your body mm. that is unseen. Yes. You know, I just want to stop at this point and say, the devil is a very sick devil. Yes. The devil has prostate cancer. Yes. The devil has high blood pressure. The devil has mm. uh, tumors. Mm. The devil has diabetes because sickness is of the, the devil. devil. He's a very sick devil. Mm. And he needs to I keep his that. sickness. Truth. He needs to keep his sickness because sickness is from the pit of hell. Yes. But this is my journey. You know, mm. uh, medically, one needs to be wise and seek the advice of doctors, I needed to go for procedures and operations. Mm. But I remember significantly well, upon the diagnosis, the Lord immediately, immediately said to me, just as he spoke to her about the diagnosis, yes. the Lord said to me, your healing is in your assignment. My God. Say that again, Pastor. Hallelujah. The Lord clearly said to me, and I hear his voice, he said, your healing mm. is in your assignment. And, th and that did it for me. Because nowhere in the course of the last 23 months was my prayer ever, Lord, heal me. It was never, Lord, heal me. There were others praying for mm. me, I understood. Oh. But because the Lord said to me, my son, your healing is in your assignment. Jesus. And I knew that my assignment was every ministry role that I play at AMI. Mm. Immediately, I got on the phone with dad, yes. the prophet. Mm. And I said, my father, I heard the Lord say, my healing mm. is in my assignment. Jesus. And then I said, my father, whenever you need me to be on the altar, because we never ask to yes. be on the altar. It's yes. our father's prerogative. I just want to put it out there. Yes. So I said to my father, Dad, when you need for me to be on the altar, on the schedule, nothing changes. Because I knew that oh, my healing God. was in my assignment. Would, no matter how weak you may feel, that should never come in. Oh, glory to Jesus. I'll tell you, you about weak. the Lord. I'll tell you about being weak now. But, but when I was in the theater, waiting mm. to go into the operating theater. I had a visitation from Pastor Alf Lucal. <laughs> I had a visitation. It can get which better than this. Which was a game changer. Mm. Bishop Jackie, I tell you. Jesus. So here I am, I'm lying. I'm the only one in that cold room. Dr. Lebo will know what it's like. And we had an old lady that would come and just check on you and make sure everything was okay. 
And she thought that I was stressing because I was speaking in tongues. And she thought I was stressed. I said, no, I'm fine. And as I was speaking in tongues, before I could go in for my first procedure, Pastor Alf takes a walk. I can oh see him God. as clear as day. He takes a walk mm. towards me. I was lying on that bed, covered with a hospital sheet. Mm. Dad was wearing fancy black jeans mm. and a very fancy red blingy <laughs> t-shirt. And his hands... <laughs> Like that. You know, Dad is so stylish. He had his I'm gonna leave you he to had say his, that. He, uh, he had his fingers or his thumbs in his belt and he walks towards me. Mm. He looks at me, he looks at the door, and he said this. He said, My son, you can go. Hey! You gotta celebrate God for the spirit. Elf Lukau is the spirit. Hallelujah. You, that's where you're healing. That, that was the end of it. That was the end. The that end. was the end. <laughs> because, and, and immediately, Bishop, sorry, Bishop, mm. and immediately Dad said that, the Lord quickened Psalm 23, 4 to me, which says, even though I walk through the valley of the Jesus. shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for I am with you. Mm. And that was the peace that came over me. You know, just fast tracking. I had gone through the first process. They had put 37 radiation seeds. You can call me a bionic man if you want. 37 radiation seeds on the inside of me, which was designed to ward off the cancer cells. But, you know, every single day, I was aware that my healing was in my assignment. Every time I saw the schedule come, mm. you're doing the offering, you're doing the announcements, what, even if it was preaching at that time, yes. I just knew that that was my medication, that was my prescription from heaven. Mm. That was my prescription. And you know, my father is such... He's such a great coach yes. because dad knew, mm. dad knew that my healing was in my assignment. He would give me more. Yes. I remember one weekend, <laughs> I can literally stand because the, the chemotherapy injection renders you just so fatigued. Mm. I'll come up, Mama Celeste asked me this question on Monday. She said, my son, tell me, how do you manage I said, Mom, when you enter the realm of the Spirit, yes. when you are ministering, yes. you're entering a new realm. You know, the, the, the flesh has no glory in yes. His presence. The flesh has got no place. You enter the Spirit. I understand that I'm a spirit. Yes. Yes. So I enter that realm. I do what I need to do mm. in the Spirit. Oh, but then God. there's coming down. When you come mm. down and everything settles, you literally have to be dragged out and taken to bed. It's happened to me many times. People don't really know. But the greatest moments oh, were ministering on the altar and knowing that my healing was taking place. I'm going to let Pastor V tell you about the results after six months. Okay. Let her tell you this. Listen Five to this. Five minutes into now closing. But this testimony, I wish we had much more time. I never knew this part of it. Bishop Jackie, we must understand that God puts a word for all of us in the prophet's mouth. Yes. And when we get that, we would understand how important our prophet and our man of God is in our life. Yes. Uh, so going forward, we started radiation immediately. Uh, radiation was 25 radiations, which was the worst thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. I've but never, I did the radiation. <laughs> I've, I've, I've never seen radiation and chemotherapy before in my life. So for me, it broke my heart into pieces to see the machines, the everything going on. And on day number 15, remember we had 25 radiations. On day number 15, God gave me this most beautiful dream. Bishop Jackie, I knew my husband was healed on that day. Amen. And um, 
I didn't have to wait for 25 days for the results to come through. I knew on the day 15 he was healed. Hallelujah. I dreamt about Jesus, and behind Jesus was my man of God, my mm. prophet. Oh. On his knees like he is usually, and oh. Jesus was in front of him, and my dad was behind him. Oh. And Jesus said to me, and I didn't know at that time, and it was the first time that I'm ever experiencing anybody that goes through uh, cancer medication, when you have your last treatment of chemotherapy or radiation, you ring a bell. They give you a bell to ring at the end to, to signify to everybody that it is in the hospital room that your treatment is over. They, uh, and it was so significant and it was so prophetic because you ring the bell three times. And this was day number 15. Remember, we had day number 25 to yes. go through. And Jesus said to me on day number 15, it is finished. It is finished. Oh. And it is finished. He rung the bell in my dream three times. It is finished. And behind Jesus, I saw my man of God. And I got up that morning, Bishop Jackie, and I said to Rodney, you are healed. Amen. Everything is done. Amen. And we still went for the 10 treatments thereafter. We had to wait for results to come yes. through to tell us that the radiation worked. Bishop Jackie, I didn't wait for that yeah, result. Really I knew that the result was Hallelujah. done. Hallelujah. Never underestimate a praying wife. Yes. Never underestimate yes. a praying wife. Yes. When you are in covenant with your husband, I'm not talking about a girlfriend and a boyfriend. When you yes. are in covenant with your husband, yes. God will speak to you. God will speak to your mm. man of God. Jesus. And healing will come through you. Mm. And on day 25, when we got the results that it confirmed. The, the cancer is gone, I said, I didn't need to hear that. And I Bishop Jackie, I had I knew it. six subsequent PSA tests. Dr. Lebo will know that the lowest your, your test result could ever be, mm. it's, it's right flat at the bottom, less than 0 0.02. Each of my Somebody results was less your hands than 0 to, no, 0.02. No, you must stand on your feet. I sit here today cancer free glory cancer to jesus free in the name of oh jesus oh my goodness what a powerful testimony oh i wish we had more time so many important things came out the spirit of the lord spoke to you about the diagnosis the man of god appeared the appearance of Alf Lukau, the theophany of Alf Lukau, was the, was the game changer. Yes, it was. God brought peace in that time. And Pastor V, 10 days before, the, the Bible says the end is better than the beginning. You knew the end. When doctors told you, they just came to confirm what God told you. The Bible says whatever... You ask in prayer. Believe that you have received it. That is it. You believe that the healing was done. That's why you told him. If each one of us can hold on to the heritage of our faith. Our man of God is an apostle of faith. He operates not in the ordinary giftings of faith. He's a man called to demonstrate God's power. And for him to appear at the right time, I'm praying for those appearances. Hallelujah. I promise you, I'm not sure what the sight will be like. But if I am in my Father, so shall it be yours too. Amen. You claim it for your life. From me, Bishop J, Pastor Rodney, Pastor V, what a powerful testimony. I want to urge each one of you, if you have a testimony, do not sit on it. Pastor Rodney said, he has tested so many times. It's minus zero whatever percent. It cannot be otherwise. Jesus has given his healing. Jesus confirmed it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. Your problem is finished. 
Go to the testimony desk, write us a testimony, and let us tell the world of the goodness of God. If you have cancer, it doesn't matter the stage. Healing is in AMI. From us, God bless you. Shalom. Glory to Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a mighty clap offering on. Please rise on your feet and celebrate the King of Glory. Celebrate the God of Elf Lukau. Celebrate the God who still performs wonders. The God who still heals the sick. The God who heals cancer. Stage four, stage three, whatever the God. Who heals HIV AIDS. The God who heals diabetes is in this house. You can go anywhere. I don't mind. But the day you come in here, you shall meet with the God of this altar. I want you to put your hands together for the guardian of this altar. Today is a family blessing day. The father of the house. Can we honor God for our father? Honor your father and your mother so that your days may be lengthened on the earth. That clap offering is for somebody out there. Celebrate my father. Give God the glory. I can't hear you, AMI. What you don't celebrate, you will never have access to. Celebrate him. Who appears in an operation room other than Jesus and Elf Lukau? You can make of it what you want. That's the God that God has given us in our midst. The God that is seen in Elf Lukau will appear in you. Somebody put your hands together. Unless you see Jesus in him, can Jesus not appear to you? Put your hands together for our mother. Bishop Celeste Lukau, the praying wife of my father, dangerous on her knees. Mommy, we love you. We miss you, Pastor. We are just blessed. You may be seated. Take us through your testimonies. We, have, we don't have much time, yes, Bishop. but just take us through your testimony. Good morning, family. My name is... Yeah, celebrate. We need to learn in AMI how to celebrate each other. Um, my name is Lindy Welika. Like, uh, I want to thank the God of my father, thank God of our Flukau and Mama Celeste Flukau. And, uh, you know, uh, I was here last month. You know, can I start it here? In 2019, I had an accident a car accident, and I didn't go to, to the hospital. I take it light, I say, ah. but uh, last month, I had a, a severe pain. I couldn't take it. And we were rehearsing at church with the praise and worship. And then I called the minister, Joyce. I said, can you pray for me? He took me at the back. You, you, you went to minister who? Minister Joyce. The daughter of Elf Lukau. Yeah, yes. Don't be jealous. Clap your hands for minister Joyce. And then she took me to the back. She prayed for me. And then I went home. Along the way, the pain was gone. The pain was gone even today. The accident was when? The accident was 2019. Since 2019, you've yes, been going you through should. this. Yes. And the Lord led you that day as you came to choir practice. Yes, Join a department. Yes, thank you. Your department leader is anointed. From that day,
today as my bishop. Minister Joyce laid hand. Minister Joyce is a daughter of the house. Indeed. She has understood the heritage in her father. Oh what is in the Father is in her, so it is in you. Celebrate God for this healing. Keep your healing. God bless you. It's always so important. Look how beautiful she is, part of the children's ministry. Put your hands together. Yeah, turn around, model. That's how we do it here. <laughs> Shalom, family. Shalom, mommy. My name is Helen Morapa. My testimony goes like this. That's how we do it at Sunday school. My testimony goes like this. Um, it started uh, six months ago in November. I started to have a pimple between my two teeth. Then I just thought that it's a pimple, it will go away. But along the way, the pimple was growing, growing, growing. Mm. Then I Between your teeth? Yes, my lower two teeth. Mm. Then I noticed that mm, this thing, it's like, I don't know now, just because it was like a growth. Mm. But I never told anybody. Even at home, I didn't tell anybody. Just because if I told them, they were going to say, rush, go to the hospital and check. But I was trusting my father. Jesus. Um, uh, then fasting came. 40 days of fasting. I fasted for 40 days still trusting my father and I was trusting that if my father would say only a word, I would be healed. But they, they never allocated me. And in the meantime, just tell us, were you going through any form of pain, irritation in that yeah. time? Yes, I was having pain. The pain was so severe, my bishop. Mm. Um, the growth now was starting to make the other lower teeth to their roots to to come out. Mm. Yeah, sure. e even to chew, it was a problem. I couldn't even, to, even bite an apple. I was using a knife to cut an apple mm. and eat. Even at home, if they can ask me, why are you using a knife? I would tell them that I, I only like to use a knife. <laughs> I didn't want to tell them what was happening. Then there came the announcement of encounter. Then I said, it's obvious I will meet Daddy at the Hallelujah. encounter. That's what I thought. Then I, we went for the lessons. Then we went to the camp. Mina, I was expecting that when we arrive at the camp, Papa will be waiting for us and greeting us. <laughs> All I wanted was the touch from my father. When we arrived there, Papa was not around. Mm. I said, maybe Papa will come tomorrow. But when we went, we went into our, before we go to the counter, my bishop, yes. they took our phones and they said we must be silent. Nobody must talk. Then I said, how, how can this happen? For how many days? From today, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, not talking. I was so, mm. I said, ah, this will never happen. Then we were quiet. We arrived there. Then we went to our rooms. Then when I entered in our room, there was letters which we were put on the bed. Mm. Those letters came from our father. And when I Jesus. read, amen, when I read that letter, I could feel that the presence of Papa is here. Hey. Amen. Then we slept. The following day, my deliverance started. I didn't know that it was my deliverance. The whole encounter came. I was rushing, going to the toilet. After mm. five minutes, I would go to the toilet. After five minutes, I would go to the toilet. I couldn't even pray for anything. I was just praying, Lord, please make this tomato bag to go out. I want to enjoy this encounter. Uh, when we came back, my bishop, yes. we came to the service. I couldn't come into the auditorium. Just because still I was rushing. Then I went to my department. Then I said I will save at my department since the toilet yes. is near. We went home. That was on Sunday. Monday, I'm sitting outside with my husband and I'm talking. Then I said to my child, bring me an apple. Then my child brought the apple, my bishop. Mm. I bite the apple. Then Mina was like surprised. Then I said to my child, give in. Go and bring me a mirror. And Given said, Mama, I can't find a mirror. Then I said, Okay, check. 
between my two teeth, is there anything there? I said, there's nothing, Mama. Just because I never showed them anything. Somebody! It doesn't matter where the growth is. Whatever the enemy plan. So you got your deliverance as you are speaking now. There's still nothing there. There is nothing, my bishop. I even took the mirror and I checked. There is nothing. Man, I was thinking, did I swallow it? Some... What happened? Did it burn? <laughs> Give God the glory. Give him praise. Keep your miracle, mommy. My beloved brother, take us through your testimony. Shalom, family. I said hello, family. Don't be jealous. I hope you Just put your hands together. I love to give honor where honor is due. My father, my mother, I salute you. Oh, beautiful. Help me say the oil will not cease. The oil will not cease. The oil will not cease. It was on the 22nd of December where my spiritual father declared the oil will not cease. Do you remember that service, family? They are businessmen, and then they are businessmen. Hey! Say that again. They are businessmen, and then they are businessmen. <laughs> and then my father happens to be the one at the top. And my DNA is connected to my spiritual father. I said they are businessmen, and then they are businessmen. Well, my spiritual father declared the oil will not cease. He speaks of a scripture in 2 Kings uh, chapter 4, where a lady had um, her husband deceased and went to the prophet Elisha and said, Men of God, your servant has passed away, and I am your maid servant. And the prophet Elisha said, What do you have? And the woman said, I have nothing but a jar of oil. <laughs> but a jar of oil. The prophet said, Take that jar of oil, collect vessels, go all over and collect empty vessels. And took. Are we, are we listening to Elf Lookout? You are so jealous. Just put your hands together. There's a new generation. There is a new generation. You'll be surprised who God will use. Just to take you through my testimony, I had entered a fast from the 1st of December, 2023. I was spirit-led. From the 1st of December to... Uh, to the last month, to the last day of the month of December. Mm. So on the 22nd, I came for the Friday service, and my men of God declared that there will be an apostolic marketplace orientated anointing. An apostolic marketplace orientated anointing. I latched on to that word. I said, This is my word, knowing that the following day I was going to a market to sell because the Lord has placed me as steward over a perfumery company. I went to the market, and in one day, I made what I usually make in three months. Just in one day. If you sit down, then there's a problem. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate him. And from that day, the oil has not stopped. The oil has not ceased. My men of God said, Men and women who will change the economy of Africa are from AMI. Put your hands together. Keep what you have. Celebrate Jesus, AMI. compromise your value your faith in the presence of other you put small in the pocket when people go to your social media account they cannot tell you're a child of God Jesus. you do your best your utmost best to hide your faith mm. there are people who have been with you for years they do not know how deep your covenant goes I will not die for the cause. If the Lord wants me to be 
crucified, I want to say, puts my head down like Peter. But I'm not compromising. The man, the steward, was concerned that if you don't eat what comes from the king, you cannot have a good life. You cannot have a good stand. You will not look good. Just as they tell those young people, the young people in the university, compromise so you may fit in. You will be outdated if you do not do like we do. If you do not come where we go every Saturday night. You will not pass as a young girl from class to class if you do not compromise a little. You will not have a promotion at work if you do not tread your body. The times when the winds blow too strong. And it feels what the disciples felt waking Jesus Christ up. Don't you care that we are perishing? No matter what happens, your God never loses control. I receive it. Nothing escapes the control of God. A man who trusts in God will always be higher. When all this is over, mm. you cannot be compared to those who compromised. Just Wait, the test will become a testimony. The demotion will turn into a promotion. A disappointment into a new appointment in God. A mess into a message. Just wait.
praise. We honor him, Jesus. Hallelujah. The king who lives by himself. We worship him. We adore him. We exalt him. We celebrate Jesus. him. Jesus. He is Yahweh. Yes, he is. He is Yahweh. Hallelujah. Woo! God is a good God. We celebrate him for what he will do already today. Now today is uh, that day we come to answer the call from the altar. The Lord has spoken about the blessing, yes. family blessing. May you be blessed. I will save it. May the blessings of the Lord locate you. I receive it. In the name of, of Jesus. I want you to welcome those around you. You have done it probably before. Do it again. I want to welcome those of you across the globe, especially our branches, wherever you are. Shalom to you. Shalom, Switzerland. Shalom. Shalom, shalom in Belgium. Shalom. In my parish, shalom. London, shalom. Birmingham, shalom. Shalom to all of you. In Poland, shalom. Germany, shalom. Glory shalom Jesus. wherever you are in Europe. Shalom in America. Shalom Canada. Shalom Mexico. Shalom South America. Shalom Asia. Shalom Singapore. Shalom Philippines. Shalom, shalom to you in Hong Kong. Shalom Malaysia. Shalom Dubai. Shalom Abu Dhabi. Shalom Oman. Shalom, peace unto you. India, Shalom, Pakistan, Shalom, Sri Lanka, Shalom, New Papua Guinea, Shalom, Shalom, Australia, Shalom, Samoa, Shalom, Fiji, Shalom, 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 Mandura, Shalom, Perth, Shalom, Sydney, Shalom, Australia, Shalom, New Zealand, Shalom, Africa, Shalom. Mauricia, Shalom. Shalom. Seychelles, Shalom. Shalom. Cape Town, Shalom. Johannesburg, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom to you. In Angola, Shalom. Namibia, Shalom. Zimbabwe, Shalom. Botswana, Shalom. Shalom, Malawi. Shalom, Mozambique. Shalom, Democratic Republic of Congo. Shalom, Katanga region. Shalom, Kinshasa. Shalom, Shalom Nova Vida, Luanda, Angola. Shalom to you. Shalom wherever you are. Congo, Brazzaville, Shalom. Gabon, Shalom. Kuchumbura, Shalom. Kigali, Shalom. Shalom, Ivory Coast. Shalom wherever you are. Shalom. God is doing something. Nigeria, Shalom. Abuja, Shalom. Lagos, Shalom. Peace unto you. The peace of God has a spice of understanding. Shalom in Ghana. Shalom Kenya. Shalom Tanzania. Shalom Uganda. Shalom, Shalom. South Sudan. Shalom. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ covers the earth. Yes. The Lord who began this good work, he will not fulfill it because it is name. God. Whether Amen. I mention you or not, whether I mention your location, your country or not, something good will happen to you I today. will save it. Somebody holler, it will happen to me today. It will happen to me today. There shall be healing, there shall be deliverance because God has heard and God will bless you. I will save it. He will certainly do. Now we have come because the Lord wanted us to come and pray. Mm. We have come because the Lord had shown us what is happening in the spiritual atmosphere. I want you to understand if you've been invited or dragged in the house of God. It is not by mistake God wanted you to be here. Mm. 
Your obedience in the call that God has will release by itself a shield that will protect you as we go through this moment. Today, our stand in faith is not just because of a mere routine of going to church, but we are answering some things specific. In the spiritual realm, all those who have the ability to tap into and have an insight confirm that the winds are blowing. And the Lord had shown me something that the enemy is trying to do. And that is to pull down families. Pulling down families not only bringing about rebellion and division, but uh, causing pain in homes, sickness and disease, sudden calamities. Mm. Now, the word of God helps us navigate through life. While we are still here on earth, God's insight helps us see the enemy from far and deal with it. Right. Thank you, Jesus. What is revealed is condemned. Amen. In the context of the revelation of the plans of the enemy. That's right. So my precious today, those of you who are here on site and those of you online. It is my faith. I am just trusting God. And I want you to trust God so our faith come together. That the Lord will turn every pain into praise. I receive it. I am praying that God may put up a shield around your life. In the name of Today Jesus. I decree and I declare the weapon formed against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. There are people who died last year. There are people who died before it was the time. There are people whose lives have been cut short. Not everybody that dies, dies before his time. Right. Some people die right when they're supposed to depart. But many in greater number perish because of the wicked work of the enemy. Mm. No matter what we do, we will always see the coming and the going of people. And that is fine as long as it is according to the perfect will of God. This year, as we claim the word we worship, we pray, we go out there to work, there will still be people being buried. Right. But it will not be you. I receive it. I In say the name it of will Jesus. not be you. I receive. What is it that makes one stand and the other one fall? Mm. What is it that I will cause somebody who slept and woke up with much better energy than the other go out and never come back? Hear me. Unless the Lord builds. Those who build labor in vain. Mm. It is not naivety. It is worse than naivety. To think that life happens by itself. That you just go through change. And if it is not your day. You come back home. The Bible says. The enemy is Satan. Comes to steal. Mm. To kill. And to destroy. Yes. And oftentimes, when you begin to see the enemy agitated, some of you will see what I'm saying, and you will know when you come across it that I am sorted. The devil came too late. My prophet Thank already you, prayed. Jesus. My prophet told us I was from saved. the mountains. Yes. My family is protected. I was saved. The enemy will always come, and when you see him come, it's often because he's trying to prevent something that God has said to happen. Mm. You will see before every strong wind, there are moving clouds. Sometimes it gets darker before yes. you rain. I'm That's announcing right. to you, there shall be rain. In the I name say, of Jesus, shall be rain. I the enemy will not steal what God has said 
in the name, the name of, of Jesus. 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 I feel like praying with you already. But we laid the foundation of the word of God. And that we will commit in a time of prayer. We will say, oh God, do it your way. Oh Jesus. Say Tama Yobu Soto. Do it your way. Yes, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now for a moment, prepare your heart for what God is doing. Lift your hands as high as you can. Jesus. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, church, God bless you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for connecting those of you, especially in our branches. Whatever is happening here, it's happening to you. I Japan, 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 Japan. It's a happening to you. God will do it because God is kind. Mm. God is loving. We thank you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Prepare your heart before God. Speak to him. God, merciful God, we bless you. We bless your word. Yes, Lord. Lord, do what you say you will do in our lives today. Touch us, O oh Lord. Change us, O oh God. Transform us, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Glory to Jesus. Thank you for those of you who traveled abroad to be here on your altar. To be present on your altar is significant. Yes. You came from outside, outside South Africa, the land of God and outside <laughs> the continent. May the Lord bless you. May God do you good. In the name of Jesus. The bishops, God bless you. Yes. Pastors, God bless you. Those here and those across the globe, our pastors, our ministers, shalom to you. The first lady of our ministry, shalom to Hallelujah. you. Will you please be seated in the presence of God? With great humility, I present myself today as a simple instrument in the hand of God. Trusting that God in his mercy will use my Amen. vocal cord to speak unto you. I pray that the word of God may not be too much, but God may use this word to align our spirit to what he has said. Amen. It was about seven days ago that I shared with you the thought of God concerning a father. And the theme of my little presentation then was on what had happened when Elijah was taken. He's a son, a spiritual son, called on him, my father, my father. Chariot of Israel and his horsemen. He had seen in his father a man the Lord had given him authority and power to guide him to protect him to preserve him and to build him into destiny my precious in the lord i had promised also then that i will be sharing a message today by the lord in the same spirit a message that is still linked to the same anointing which is i am my father's son glory to jesus God intended to populate the earth through family. He pulled the father and pulled together through him and the wife a family. A family unit is critical to the mind of God. And because of this, the enemy will always be after families. When Joshua answered the call, he expressed it in this way to those who were still 
undecided. He said, as for me and my household, meaning my family, we shall serve the Lord. Joshua understood that it is a good that I may serve God, but it is better than that we serve God. That mommy, daddy, and the rest of the family all commit in following God. A house that has embraced God is a house that will prosper and shine. Amen. I receive it. The word of God says, believe in the Lord and you shall be saved. You and your family. Let your hand wave your arms. Say, my family shall be saved. My family shall be saved. The salvation that we are referring to in this day is first your spiritual salvation. For this is the greatest salvation you can ever have. As you receive this salvation for which Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, died on the cross of Calvary and shed his blood, you are also partakers of every other help that the Lord has. He will save you in your finances. He will save you in your day-to-day -day relationship with those members of your family. There will be no confusion, no more division, no more rebellion. The Lord will protect you. He will save you in your health. Amen. He will not permit that the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy in your yard. The Lord will put a shield around Hallelujah. you and the devil will find no access I into your home. It. There have been tears in your family every season. It seems like your family has been acquainted on who dies now and who dies next. Who dies now and who dies next. But God is breaking the vicious circle of that spirit of death in your family in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Lift your hands and my family is blessed. My father is blessed. You know there is a family where every now and then, every season almost, they have to bury somebody. It became the custom to a point where every time there is one being buried, the elders will choose who is more positioned in authority in the family to come to announce in that funeral day who will die next. Hey. A young man reported that he went to visit that family not knowing the custom just as a support to a friend who was uh, 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 in, in pain of losing a loved one. And as uh, he went there, it was a beautiful hall that they had uh, uh, used for a memorial service. Then, uh, just toward the end, he saw an elder standing. So he wanted to know, what is it? Is it a vote of thanks? No, they said that uh, he's standing to announce who will die next. Imagine. He was just a guest. And the man said, the one who will die next is the one who will leave the hall first. It has been three days, they were all there. Even the pastor did not move out. Because nobody wanted that calamity to come on him. May I announce to you, no matter what the enemy has activated in the spiritual realm to hurt you, you will not be hurt. In the you name will of be Jesus, spared. I Your loved one will be spared. I will in the name it. of Jesus. The grace of God sustains us. The grace of God positions us. The grace of God connects us. The grace of God will cause you to go further. From glory to glory. glory. From success to success. Now a father in the family plays a vital role. A father is a guardian. is a promoter. A father is a protector. A father will defend his home. A father will make sure that he produces. A father will inspire. And yet, last week we went to understand all that a spiritual father and a biological father represent. More than just a sperm donor is an Abba. An Abba. But today, we all align with the word of God that builds us as sons and daughters. 
For today, as I say, Psalms, if you are a daughter of God, do not feel excluded. You are part of that. I quickly want to present you nine important things that a son who is linked to a father have to know and do. This will build you and inspire you. It will align you and push you to the next level. You can only be an heir if you are aligned. Your heritage is in your father. And it becomes yours as you become a true son. Nine important things that you have to do, I have to do toward my biological parent and father. And also toward my spiritual parent and my spiritual father. The first thing is uh, you should love your father. If I am my father's son, my relationship with my father is not merely an intellectual relationship based on uh, what I can get out, what I can benefit from it. It is first a relationship of love. You know, today you sit down, especially those of us in God who want to find a mentor. We check the profile of the one we believe that is uh, suitable to be our mentor. And because sometimes we do not understand the difference between a mentor and a father, we pick one according to what we think we can get from him. Nothing else. It is a one way. It is, I am coming to get what you have. I'm coming to be like you. I'm coming so that you may deposit it in me. But there is no way thinking, I am coming for love. Love is two ways. Love is a bond that is stronger than any bond. Love can glue two people together. Love will make a two different unit to become only one unit. Love is not just essential in a relationship when it comes to a son and a father, but love is everything. It is indispensable. You cannot call him a father unless you love him. Your relationship, unless it is a relationship of love, your sonship is undermined. In the book of Matthew 22, verse 37, the word of God says, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is Jesus Christ saying, this is the will of God. God had expressed it and Jesus here is quoting it again. Because you see, God understands that unless you are a true loving son toward him, you cannot really be a true son toward him. It has all to be about love. That's why those of us who are fathers and are trying to build relationship with uh, sons and daughters uh, focuses on love more than anything. We will tell, tell you about love, we will speak of love, we will push you on love, we will show you of love because love is key. How much should you love? You should love with all your heart, all your soul and all your mind. Naturally, it is impossible to love somebody like this, but God did not suggest it. This is not a proposal. This is a demand. It is imperative. You shall love the Lord your God. When Jesus Christ was getting ready to give Peter responsibility over the church, he asked him three times one question. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Now, as you understand love, very much so, you have understand sonship. The second thing you ought to do, I go as fast as I can towards your father. You should obey your father. A son who is disobedient to his father is not helpful to anyone. In Israel, it was that a son who would be rebellious had to be reported by his father and mother to the elders and they will stone such a child. If you are here under the sound of my voice and you do not listen and obey your father, you are not helping yourself. Your destiny is locked within him. You are the expression of the DNA that you have received oh, from him. Savior. What makes you look like you is because of him and what he carried and passed on to you. 
you must understand the link between you and he who begotten you if you understand it and align in obedience obedience may sound harsh in our time but it is a key to manifest the goodness of god the blessings of god manifest in one's life as you live in obedience to obey is to do what you are told. Mm. Yes. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Somebody say this is right. This is right. You cannot be in the house of God and you do not do what you are told. You always have an option in your mind. You cannot be a child of God. You cannot be under a father and you disobeyed openly everything that your father has told you. You are not a son. You are a mere creature that is a part of an assembly. Mm -hmm. You are not a child. As a son, you are connected. It does not make you smaller to do what your father says yes. you ought to do. It makes you stronger. You are not undermined. You are not quenched down. No. Obeying your father is the first prize as you stand as a son. In the book of Hebrews 13 verse 17. The Bible says, obey those who rule over you and be submissive. For they watch out for your souls as those who must give account. Let them do so with joy and not with grief. For that will not be unprofitable for you. Now this is the same word God is saying you should live in obedience. When you come across somebody who is always rebellious, who is always, uh, 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 who feels smaller when he is asked to do certain things, you should know that uh, you have a challenge and he is a challenge. Depart yourself from such a person if you cannot change the person. You have to live in obedience. I live in obedience. The third thing you have to do is listen to your father. My father said, this is what I do. My father said, my father gave me an insight. My father taught me certain ways. Mm. My father led me in certain things. I listened to my father. Hearken to the instruction of your father. Yes. Hearken to the voice of your father. Yes. You cannot say my father, my father, as if it was just a celebrity that mm. you are a fan of. No, it is a relationship of love ordained by God. A relationship of obedience. And in that, you listen to your father. Mm. Proverbs 13 verse 1. A wise son heeds his father's instruction. He heeds, he listens, he keeps, and he applies. But a scoffer, thank God, under the sound of my voice, there are no scoffers. We left and them Jesus somewhere name. else. Does not listen to rebuke. If you do not listen to rebuke, your name is brother scoffer. You are sister scoffer. The fourth thing is honor your father. Have respect. Have reverence. Lift your father. To yes. honor is to do just that. To lift one. To reverence one. To have extreme respect. That is to honor. And again, it is not a suggestion. God is giving it to us as a commandment. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 2 and verse 3. The Bible says, honor your father and your mother. If there are people who have to be honored, your father and your mother. Amen. And when you honor somebody, it shows. It is expressed. That honor that is not expressed does not exist. Honor has to be visible. The person you honor will be known. Who you honor will be seen. You cannot honor somebody in, in hiding, in secret. When you honor him, the way you stand, the way you speak, the way you address him in his presence, and even 
in his absence it shall be known honor your father and honor your mother the Bible say which is the first commandment with a promise and that promise is what that it may be well with you and you may live long on earth is there anybody who want to live a life that is well and a life that is satisfying and long longevity is a promise that is directly linked to your father mm. right longevity longevity in business longevity in ministry longevity in your relationship longevity in your breathing on earth is linked to a promise that is given as you align with your father you want to succeed or oh, many people have their lives always cut short today they are good and tomorrow is gone it seems like the enemy always steals at the nick of time what the lord has given them yes it does not last with them relationship do not last blessings do not last here the words say if you will honor your father and your mother you will have this it will be well with you may it be well with you today i receive it I say, may it be well with you today. I receive it. I say again, wherever you are, all, may it be well with you. I receive it. You see, when it's well with you, you will be at peace. When it is well with you, it will work. I talk about that thing Name on Monday, Jesus. on Tuesday, on Wednesday, I on Thursday, it. on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. It shall work. When it is well with you, you don't struggle. When it is well with you, you mount up wings like an eagle. I say, may it be well with you. I receive it. When it is well with you, you fly higher. You go high above the storm. When it is well with you, you shine. When it is well it. with you, you are the head and not the tail. When it. it is well with you, whatever you do, prosper. I prophesy today, may it be well. You shall prosper in everything you do. I Prosperity is your portion. In the name every of day, Jesus. Every way. In the name oh. of Jesus, may it be well. I receive it. You have one father, and the Lord said toward him, Yes, you should honor him, you should have reverence. Yes, no matter how close you are with him, yes, refuse familiarity. Yes, you're not buddies. Yes, honor him, yes. give him the space due to him. Yes. Five, defend your father. Yes, yes. I will fight for mine. He's a red line, drawn, mess up with everything. Yes. Even as my father is in glory, just with his name, mind your tongue. Mind your tongue. Yes. You, you, you will wonder what just happened. Jesus. Book of Psalm 127 from verse 3 to 5. Behold, the children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. I stop there. If you are here, you're trusting God for a child. I decree and I declare, may you receive the fruit of the womb as a reward of your faith in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Verse 4, like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. I stop here. If you are unmarried as a man, you are 30, 35, 40, you're still in your father's house. May the fire of God disturb you where you are and may the grace of God take you where you ought to be. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. You cannot have your first child when you are 50, no. You cannot have your first child when you are 60, no. You cannot have, it is time now. It is time now. You get married, the Lord will open that door. Amen. The Lord will make you ready. Receive the Lord will prepare you to what I he has receive said. it. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Now hear this, 
Happy is a man who is his quiver, full of them. Why? They who? The children shall not be ashamed. Is there anybody who is ashamed of his father? A man who is ashamed of his father is a polluted man. He's a compromised fellow. Your father or your mother cannot be a point of shame for you. Oh, well, when I, I came from university, I, I speak English in English. I have colleagues coming uh, from abroad and they cannot see my father. And I tell my father, please, uh, I'll go to the sitting room or go, go leave the sitting room, go to the bedroom. Mommy, go to the bedroom, go and hide there. There is a story of a woman who fought for his son who went abroad. He was the only son. And that this son came back to the city. The mother was in the township, a lonely woman with no life. Worse, she had a form of a disability. She was bent and the, 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 the pain and the, the, the injuries of her being burned was seen. She was deformed. And this child who came from abroad built himself a nice house in a good suburb. I had a good family. But you see, he did not want the wife and the wife family, which came from a very good lineage, to know his roots. So he could reach out to the mother, but he decided not to. The mother was too ugly to bring to, to his house or to go to her. She took care of the mother from far, from far. And one day she got, he got message from her where the mother was say, staying and say, the message said, please hurry, hurry. The woman who say, is your mother, is at the point of death. Please hurry. The young man was uh, asking himself, what again? What again? But under pressure of some conscience, decided I will uh, just make a turn there. So when they, and it was a shark, a very ugly shark. When it was hot, it was extremely hot inside. And he did not want to go inside. Neighbor say, it's your mother, she cannot come. Go in. For the first time in his life, he went in that shark. Seeing this woman according to his heart that did not meet the standard, the ugly woman, lay down there on the mattress. The gentleman came, saying no word, looking at her. And the woman was saying, I am glad to see you, my son. But he was uh, not moved. He was rather looking around the shack. And so a beautiful picture of a beautiful young girl. His eyes went to the picture. And the only thing he could say to the dying mother, who's that? Is that somebody you know? The mother say, I gotta tell you a story. You see that person in the photo, that's me. The child said, no, it cannot be you. You, you can't be her. If you are her, how is it that you look so bad? Say, my story is when I got married to your father, he died when you were still in my womb. And you had the only treasure I had. I gave birth to you, I had to go out there and fight and I left you in the house. One day I heard, please come, there is a house on fire. And I came, the house where you were caught fire. It was burning and things were falling. I began to scream, my son, my son, my son. And the neighbors helped me and said, you can't go in, he's probably dead. The woman say, I will lay down my life for my son and moved herself to go inside that house. And he said, you were there. I caught you and pulled you out. The only part of you that was burnt is the back. That way you have that scar. The son, remember, I have a scar here. Mm. He said, I could not recover because I protected you and I got burned. I was so unable to take care of myself mm. that we had a sponsor at least to take care of you. This is how you went abroad and this is how I end up becoming. The son said, no, nobody told me this story. Mm. Mommy, I'm sorry. 
I did not know. I just saw you ugly. I did not know that you were ugly, in fact, so that I may be handsome. Oh, God. You laid down your life, beautiful young girl, as you were, so that I may have a chance. But it was too late. The mother died. Do not allow such a sad story to be yours. You Jesus. cannot be ashamed of your parent. It doesn't matter if they're short, tall, big, slim, if they do not know how to communicate as good as you. And worse, do not blame your parent. Oh, because my parent didn't understand my context. I am a person who is evolved now. My father is a witch. My mother is a witch. May the Lord help you. Amen. If your mother was a witch, she could have killed you when you were still in the womb. But think twice before you say such a thing. Yes. Glory to Jesus. And he carries on and says, but they speak with the enemies in the gate. You see, when you have sons, you sit at home. When the enemies come, they will meet your sons right at the gate because they will not be permitted to carry on the agenda of entering and reaching you. Oh, yes. A son defend his father. I won't go molo with you. I won't go cheeky cheeky. I don't know you. Mm -hmm. I know my father. Oh, yes. We met just now. I'm not linked to you in any way whatsoever. My first commitment is to my man of God, yes. is to my biological, my, 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 my biological father or mother. You and I can part ways. It's okay. I met many and many will still come. Jesus. You just met somebody yesterday telling he has a condition to be my wife. You should leave your church. I don't want to hear of your spiritual father. Look at you. Other people are going to gym to develop six packs with one big pack. You come to confuse my daughter. Fire! Fire! You think you're all that? You're not all that. A son will defend yes. his home. He will defend his parent. Before they say it and it goes out there, you will see an army of sons yes. and daughters of this house. Yes. Those who say, my father, I am my father's son. Yes. Defending the altar. Defending yes. the cause of the gospel. Yes. Defending the anointing. Defending yes. the father. Yes. You know, it's not cool to go cool sometime. It's not, it's not. Mm. Mm. When everybody's fighting, you are calm. You say that, no, I'm controlling myself. That's not control. You're hiding yourself. Right. You're saving your skin. Mm. You're not paying the price that's supposed mm -hmm. to be paid. The time will come when we will not remember the insults of our enemies, yes. but the silence of our friends. Mm. Yes. Don't be silent. That's my dad. That is my father. You do not know what he had gone through to build me like that. That's my mother. You cannot undermine my parents. Mm -mm. You cannot. Mm -mm. I forbid you to do so. I permit you not to do so. Yes. I will defend what is mine. If you Jesus. fire me as a result of that, so be it. Yes. A son, Jesus. please be seated if you can, enters into his uh, father's work. A true son enters into his father's work. A son enters the trade of his father. In John chapter 5 verse 19. John 5 verse 19. Then Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees his father do, for whatever he does, the son also does in like manner. A true son enters into his father's work, so he observes to do. He sees to do. It connects to produce. It takes to give. My God. When you see a father, you have seen the direction of the sons. I receive this word. Your biological father is an indication of where you're coming from. Your spiritual father is an indication of where you go away. Mm. Mm. 
I receive it. In the book of Mark 6, verse 3, Jesus Christ is resisted. And in there, he did not do many miracles. He's resisted by his own. Why? Because they did not see beyond his natural self. Now revealed to us the natural self of God in verse 3 of chapter 6 of the book of Mark. The Bible says, as they ask, they say, is this not the carpenter talking about Jesus? Because they had seen Jesus Christ as Joseph. Joseph was a carpenter. And Jesus Christ growing before beginning his father in heaven's work, he did his father on earth work. Mm. He was mm. a carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James, Jose, Jose Judas, and Simon. And they say, uh, not his uh, sisters here with us. So they were offended at him. Offense is never given. Offense is taken. Don't be offended. Choose not to be offended. But I hear it is critical to see that uh, Jesus was in his father's trade. Mm. He was known on earth as a carpenter. In heaven as a son of the living God fulfilling the will of the father. Seven. A son represents his father. When you see the son, you have seen the father. There is no contradiction. The son carries the image and projects the image of the father. That's why every conscious son will make sure that he restricts himself not to portray a wrong image of his father. Every son is an ambassador. If your father stands for love, you show love everywhere you go. Because if you show something else but the love you see in your father, you are not representing your father anymore. You mm. are in contradiction with your father. Your father is prophetic. Your father is not religious. Your father is apostolic. Jesus. Your father is a spirit man. You should be spirit man. You should be prophetic. You should be apostolic. Your father moves in the way said by God. His reference is the word of God. Your reference cannot be some other thing out there, but God as the word of God. You represent your father. Jesus. You are a reflection of excellence everywhere you go. You refuse it. to be number two. Number two is not your place. You refuse to be number three. No. I you receive align it. yourself with the word of God. You shall be the head and not the, the tail. tail. You refuse to go small. You understand from your father. I either go big or go home. Oh. I will go I and do it. explode. I will take over. I will conquer. I will have possession. I will move from glory to, to glory. glory. I represent the supreme I receive everywhere it. I go. I do not go left, right. I receive no, I stand it. as one who's strong, strengthened by God. Jesus. I'm a son of Alf Lukau. I am. I am a son of Alf Lukau. You ought to represent your father. In the book of John 14, verse 8 and 9, Jesus Christ is speaking to one of his disciples. One of his disciples who eagerly wanted him to present them the Father. He said, Philip, Philip. I said, Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. Now, Jesus reply, replied to him saying, If I've been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? Philip, just say, show us your father. I want to know your father. He said, ah, have I not been with you for this long? And you do not know me, Philip. And he said, he who has seen me has seen the father. There is no contradiction. There is no conflict. There is a perfect alignment between me and my father. He said, who, he who has seen me, has seen my father. How many of us can say it today? He who has seen me, has seen Facebook. 
if you are a producer of uh, what is out there, you represent what is out there. Jesus. You come from the loins established by God for you. You ought to be the reflection of that from which you come from. Mm. He who has seen me drive, <laughs> he who has seen me in the junction, he who has seen me trade has seen my father. Mm. I am my father's son. I, I am my father's daughter. Mm. So how can you say, show us the father? The anointing of my father rests on me. I the anointing it. of my father rests on me. When God promised him something, he had promised it to me through him. Mm. I am a carrier of a supreme anointing. I, I am born of a time such as this. I am undeterred because I know who I am and whose I am. Mm. I am my father's son. I receive it. Eight, oh, Jesus. a son imitates his father. First book of Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. Paul speaking and he say, imitate me. To imitate is uh, copy paste. And that we are not in the Old Testament. I say this to say we are part of the very same dispensation. Where is speaking the dispensation of the church, the dispensation of grace, where we have the outpouring of the Spirit, is saying, imitate me, copy me, take your cue from me. Yes. You cannot have him as a father and look like the neighbor. Mm -mm, at all. We got to question certain things and I have very serious debate. Imitate me. They looked at Peter. Peter wanted to hide that he was one of the disciples of Jesus. They say even your way of speaking is selling you out. Because you see, when you imitate somebody, you move like him. Yes. You speak like him. You learn like him. You observe like him. You have tendencies. <laughs> you copy him. You, you, you take from him. He's your source. Yes. He say, imitate me, just as I also imitate Christ. Is it not easy, Paul, to just say imitate Christ because I imitate him also? He say, no, imitate me. Yes. I imitate Christ. I taught you. Why? Because I am your context. Yes. My father. See, today you drive your Peugeot, your Renault, your Toyota, your Nissan, your whatever car. If you had to do it as it is seen, then you would have to have nothing but a donkey. Oh, well, I'm imitating Christ. I'm coming with a donkey. We don't have docking parking here. We have parking for Rolls Royce. We have parking for Toyotas. Hey. We have parking for Unos. We have parking for Honda. I've mentioned Rolls Royce. I don't want it to shock you. Hey. Mm. When I say that we have parking for it, it's because one is coming your way. I we are getting ready for you. Yeah. We are getting ready for what God has said for you. We are getting ready for what the Lord has promised to come to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus. You're asking yourself, me is coming to me. Yes, yes. I decree, I declare. I Whatever the Lord promised you will certainly manifest in your life it. in the name of, of Jesus. Amen. Last, as a son, a son covers the nakedness of his father. Yes. You see, love, according to the scriptures, covers a multitude of sin. Mm. In the life of your brother, your sister, love covers. Mm. Love protects. Love becomes a shield. 
Love does not expose. See, when you love somebody, you will make sure that the weak part of the person you love is properly covered. When a husband begins to expose to the in-laws or to the friends or to the neighbors, the weakest part of his own wife, he has destroyed. Yes. Because even when she will become strong in that area, you have already exposed her weakness. Yes. The exposing ministry is a selfish ministry that does not go with God. It is a ministry that is just irresponsible. Mm. You will save men as you pick them. The word of God says, let those who are strong strengthen those who are weak. Amen. If those who are strong today will go out there and begin to hammer the weakness of the weak, who will stand? Hmm. You do not look holy when you speak about others people sin. That's right. Oh Jesus. You know, sometimes if you want to be the tallest person, feed yourself better, develop yourself better. Stop chopping people's hair. You're cutting them short. You're cutting the, the legs so that you may look taller. It is no success. Amen. True love holds others. That's right. My husband may not be everything, but I'll stand by this man. Mm. I will pray for this man. Amen. I will trust God's promises in the life of this man. Not every two minutes. Even when you pray in church, you are not praying you for me. <laughs> oh God, my husband. You want the neighbor who came to just worship God to know what is happening in your family. Lord, I pray, help me. You know how much I'm struggling. This man, his name is Bobo. Lord. My Jesus. Love covers. Now, when you see someone down, there is no instruction or no expectation from God's side that you do anything else but pray and help him out. Nothing else. When you see one down, you don't fix him by pinning him down. No. Seven times my righteous shall fall. The falling is part of the standing. If you have never fallen, you are not standing. You are down already. My God. Because you, you, you must understand, we all are work in progress. We may not fall in the same area, but we all have our struggle. We all have an area where we come to God and say, Lord, help me here. Yes. Make me better every day. Make me yes. stronger. Turn this weakness into my strength. This is how we become more like Jesus Christ Amen. every day. Amen. Hypocrisy is what will lead the Pharisees who has so many sins to deal with himself. Point finger to another. Mm. Love does not expose. There is no exposing ministry in the kingdom of God. At all. There is no such. Because if you address an issue as you have seen the issues in the world being addressed, you must have the responsibility of building from it. Punishing ministry doesn't exist. Correcting ministry. You pick somebody yes. and you try to get him stronger. Yes, I believe. Your children falling today can stand tomorrow if you give them an opportunity. That's right. Don't write them off. Mm -mm. Don't write them off. 
And worse in our generation when it comes to our fathers who have been there with us, who have been there to change our nappies, who have been there to buff us every evening that we may go to bed uh, 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 clean and make sure that we wake up and do what we need to do. When we did not make it well at school, he's there to help us. We have developed a short heart when it comes to them. We are short-tempered on their own difficulties and struggles. We kill them of heart attack and depressions and uh, uh, high blood pressure because we are impatient and intolerant. Mm. Who told you that God has given you an angel as a father? He gave you a real man who knows the sun and he also knows the moon. Who knows the mountain top and also knows the valley. Jesus. What do you do when he's on a mountain? And what do you do when he's walking in the valley? My God. If God will want everybody to come and be led by one who has zero mistake, he would have set Archangel Michael or Archangel or Gabriel to be your pastor. That's they can't right. do a better job. They will lead you to things that will collapse your faith the following day. You will not survive a day with the ministry. Mm. Jesus. Now, what do you do? When you see, here my father has a difficulty. You cover it. That's right. You, you are the son. He's strong through you. That's right. In the book of Genesis chapter 9... Verse 18, and I'll stop in verse 23. It is a story of Noah. We know that God used Noah to preserve the species that he wanted to set aside. Noah was a man of outstanding faith. He obeyed God even when he did not understand. Before him, there was no rain as water coming from clouds down. Because the Bible says that, that God watered the earth from the mists that will come in the morning. Water did not come. And God told him that there will be water. There will be rain. It will rain. And for you to be preserved, build up an ark. It was not understandable to anybody. Then, not even now, if you put yourself in the context. He built an ark far away from the sea shore. How will it be that this will be in the sea? And he spoke of water coming from up down and water coming so much that everybody will die. People laughed at him because you see, sometimes in the spirit, what we are led to say makes no sense. But we say it anyway. <laughs> he obeyed God and saved the generation. But the Bible said the very same man had his own issue. Before you push a man, think of what he has done for God. Amen. Some of us are the reason why few people are in the kingdom of God. We have oh, been yes. keeping a door open for people to come to the kingdom of God. Thank you, Jesus. You got born yesterday and you have a page on social media. You think that you can be given a platform to begin to say he should, he should not. Before you point finger on certain people, Think twice yes. of the price they have paid. Yes. If you know that the price they have paid cannot be compared to the price that you're paying, mind your ways. Yes. Now the sons of Noah who went out of the ark. Hear this. These sons went out of what the obedience and the commitment of Noah produced. The ark. My Jesus. You must understand that God uses men, but he uses men as men accept to be used by God. We are workers with God, fellow workers. When a man accepts to do, he accepts by faith, he accepts through obedience, and he commits to work. Your father built that house, you came from that house. That house didn't fall from heaven. Not every father has a house. That's right. You came from it. You cannot criticize it. It is only a son with no wisdom that bites the hands that feed him. That's right. 
That's right. Help us, Jesus. Biting the hand that feeds you is idiotic in the level that even wolves are shocked with you. Mm. Now the sons of Noah who went out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham was the father of the Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah. And from these, the whole, the whole half was populated. And Noah began to be a farmer. And he planted a vineyard. Who planted the vineyard? Noah. The man of God. The man used by God. After that season, became a farmer. And in farming, he planted a vineyard. So the man responsible of that vineyard is the one who planted it. Yes. And it carries on and says, and he drank of the wine and was drunk. Who drank? Noah. And who was drunk? Noah. Now, we cannot share responsibility because Noah became a farmer. Noah planted the vineyard. Noah made the wine. Noah drank the wine. Noah became became drunk. So, what's your problem in that? <laughs> what is your problem? Where are you here? Mm. You not the farmer. You did not plant the vineyard. You did not make the wine. You did not drink the wine. You are not drunk. What your problem? But here it is, and became uncovered in his tent, meaning that he was so drunk that he forgot his clothes. He misplaced his clothes. You're oh, speaking God. as uh, someone who has never drunk, gotten drunk. Some of you here, you know what I'm talking about. You know the context. My father. You know the Lord has rescued you from hey. somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know those Saturdays. Where you deciding which of the two is the door of your house? The one on the left or the one on the right? You know that. Jesus. <laughs> and became uncovered. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father. He entered probably the tent and saw that the, the great Noah was naked. What do you do when you come across things like this? The Bible says, Come on. And he and his two brothers outside. And he told his two brothers outside. He saw the nakedness in the tent and went out to, to proclaim it. He saw a mistake here and went out there and published it. Those of you who love posting, that will post you very soon. Yes. You, you, you do not go out there and begin to trade on the weakness, the nakedness of your father. No, don't do that. Yeah. Verse 23. But, B-U-T. Mm. Shame and Japheth took a garment, laid it on both their shoulders, and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. Jesus. Glory to Jesus. That you don't want to see it. Because it doesn't bless you. They took a garment and they laid it on their shoulders and they walked backward to cover the nakedness of their father. Yes. Their faces were turned away. You want to see everything. Mm -hmm. That's why you look like this. <laughs> look at you now. You checking, checking. Uh, and 
the first to go out there and proclaim things that are not part of you. My God. The Bible says, their faces were turned away mm. and they did not see the father's nakedness. The younger one saw and went to speak. Now my precious in the Lord as we pray, the nine things I've presented to you that makes you a son or a daughter of your father. Love your father. Obey your father. Listen to your father. Honor your father. Defend your father. Enter into your father's work. Represent your father. Imitate your father and cover his nakedness. Glory to Jesus. I invite you, wherever you are, to please arise. And at those in our branches, I want you to do the same. And in this moment, I want all our pastors in our branches, especially, to please come in front of our people. And we pray together. We trust God. I want you to pray as I deal with families going from this word. I want us to begin by praying and say, each one of us, make me my father's son. Make me my father's daughter. Align me, oh God, in love, in obedience. I want to listen to my father. Align me to this word that I may be a true son and a true daughter. Lift your hand and we pray. I have a father who will never ever fail me. I have a father who will never ever fail me. God is my father and he will your hands Lord God may the Lord build you up yes, Lord. may the Lord who has brought us together as families put his hands upon you yes, Jesus. as a son as a daughter as a father as a mother as a member of a household mm. both in the natural realm and in the spiritual realm may the Lord mold you according to his word Jesus. May the Lord make you one that reflects the principles of the kingdom. Where you went wrong, may God bring you back. I pray for you that the Lord may strengthen you to be who he called you for. Mm. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is all about the blessings of God. And while you have your hands up, and that those of you across the globe have your hands up the lord knows you 
It knows your home. It knows where it's painful, what is hurting. Today, the blessings of God will address that matter. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to pray and pray with your family. Pray that God may address every issue. You know the issue. Begin to pray. Speak to God. Speak to God and say, Lord, I pray for peace in my home. Yes, I pray, oh God, that you glorify your name. Remove sickness. Bring about healing, oh Lord. Change my story. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Pray, speak to God. Rabasoto, Rebekanta. Yebesi, Rabakoto, Boshia. I want you to pray before I pray for you. Wherever you are, pray, speak to God. Lord, my God, the blessing you promised us, the blessings you promised us, may it come down in my home, may it come down in my household. Have mercy, O oh God. Have mercy. Bring unity. Bring unity, O oh God. Help us, Lord, overcome as a family. Help us overcome, O oh God. We have cried enough, O oh God. We have cried enough. We look to you, Jesus. Do again, O oh Lord. Do again. Heal, O oh God. Baba bosoto yo bobosoto. My God. O shiaraba goro bosoto. I pray for you. I pray the grace of God. In the name of Jesus. Maserebe kanta. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus the healer, Jesus the restorer, Jesus. he will repair what was broken, he will make it well again, mm. it will work again, because God's hand is at work. Baba Sorobosoto, the work of the enemy will not succeed in your life. I receive it. The work of the enemy will not succeed in, in your life. In the name of Jesus. The devil is a liar. Yes, he is. God is granting you strength. Thank you, Jesus. God is granting you power. I receive I it. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Now, as I said before, listen to me wherever you are. God loves us. God loves you. And God cares for us. He cares for you. God does not want you to fall. Your downfall does not give him glory. God finds glory in your standing up. Right. It is the perfect will of God, undisputed, that God wants you to go higher. Amen. God want to protect you because it is to his own good. Mm. He finds a pleasure in the prosperity of the saints. In contrary to the will of God, the enemy, the devil, wants you down today. The enemy comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. And we should not be ignorant of his schemes, the plans of the enemy. In the spiritual realm, an army has been mobilized against many across the globe, but especially the children of God and their families. Tears and cries of pain across the world because the enemy has released men and women into pain causing the oppression that many knew before to increase just like pharaoh did when deliverance got close pharaoh increased the labor of the children of israel under the taskmasters 
just as the king Nebuchadnezzar did. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stood, stood and said, No, O king, that the Lord our God is able to snatch us or deliver us from your hand. But even if you will choose not to do so, we will not bow to your God. Amen. The king was angry and he commanded that uh, the furnace fire may be seven times more than usual. You see, increase of pain, increase of oppression is a scheme of the devil. Right. And that depended on time, especially at the dawn of deliverance, increases it. We will see people go through pain. But where the prophetic operates, the prophetic destroys the plans of the enemy I will save it. by exposing it and leading God's people to a place of safety. As a shepherd will, I stand to tell you what the enemy is putting together, knitting together against you as we pray. It shall not come to pass. In the name of Jesus. If you are here with a member of your family, hold his hand. If you are here, you came together or you came, invited each other. I want you to hold his hand. If you have family members who are not here and you have a phone, switch it on, go to the photos. Find a point of contact. If not, write it down, write just... Take something, write the name of those you know you're going to pray for. Now those of you across the globe, wherever you are, parents pray together. Family, pray together. And in our churches, hold hands. Hold hand with somebody you know. Came with you, your family member. There shall be blessings. The Lord will do it. God will do it. I say God will do it. What you are doing is causing the devil to cry. Because Satan can see that his plan concerning you will not work. Satan can see that no matter what he does for you and for your family, it shall not work. It shall Jesus. not work. Allow families to come together. Hold the hand of the family, pray together. Be in the same mind. Parents, be together with your loved one. We pray together. We pray, we pray. Husband and wife. It may be that you had a conflict at home. And then now, the simplest thing to do to hold hands seems to be a mountain to move. Please, just hold hands. There shall be peace. What no man can do, God is God to do. No, what no man can do, God, God is God. Jesus. He will do. And now, if you have a photo, if you have names, if you have a brother, if you have a sister, if you have a loved one, you're praying for, I want you to raise your voice and call on God. I am standing to pray with you. I cancel the works of the enemy concerning you. I destroy the plans of Satan through sickness and disease, through confusion, division. I break that in the name of Jesus. Jesus pray for name. one another, call on God. Barabasi arababa zekerebe kuti arababa baba. Yeah. I am my father's son. I am a true son of Jacques Andre Vernot. Son of Gaston Vernot. Son of Sadhu Sundar Singh. Mm. I am in covenant with God. I may touch not of the Lord. Keep on praying, keep on praying. 
Cancel the plans of the enemy. Cancel the plans of Satan. Cancel the plans of evil. Cancel the plans of calamity. In the name of Jesus, destroy what has been said by the enemy. Refuse to submit and subject yourself to the schemes of Satan. No divorce, no confusion. Praise be to God. Bondages are being destroyed right now. Satan, your reign of terror is Jesus. over. Jesus. Satan, your reign of terror is over. In the name of Jesus, it is over. It is over. Yeah, oh, she had a bar of a city. A mother is praying for her children. A mother is praying for her children. Oh, yeah, here the lobos, yalaba. Oh, yeah, the ababa, baba, zotoro, bobo. Yeah, babo, zotoro, a father is calling on God. Yahweh, my family. Jesus. Yahweh, my family. Yahweh, my family. Oh, we pray. Asi araba koto. Asi aherebe hi araba seterebe lobo. Lord, our offspring. Jesus. Lord, our offspring. Name of Jesus. The next generation, oh God. Remember us, oh God. Zariare balobo zokoto bo soto. Families are praying. Families are calling on God. Zaya lele le. Basetere be kanta. Zateri araba sete te 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 te. Sali araba ba 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 soto. Oshi araba gere be gogo. Masia, Oh, 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 Masia. Shayaraba. 
Sari Arababa Sari Arabasie Call on me and I will answer you, says the Lord. Call on me, call on me. And I will answer you. What we are praying, what we are praying. If you are a father and you are holding the hand of a nephew, a niece, a son or a daughter, lay hands on them. Lay hands on them right now. Those of you across at home, lay hands on them. Just touch them. If you have next to you a son or a daughter, there is transformation that God is bringing, is causing this to come from your altar. Now those of you who have Thank photos, you, put your hands on those photos. Lay hands on it. Lay hands on it. I sense in the Holy Ghost that God is reaching out is touching a son, is touching a daughter, is touching a grandson, is touching a granddaughter, is touching a nephew, is touching a niece. God is ministering. Thank you, Jesus. Rebellion is living. In the name of Jesus. Healing is taking place. In the name of Jesus. Because the curse of the enemy is broken. It's broken. Broken. In Jesus' name. Broken. Blessings have been passed. Blessings is being communicated. I receive Blessings. Blessings. Blessings that will it. make one stand. Blessings that will sustain the generation. The I blessings of God for prosperity is passed from one to another right now. Right now. Right I now. Receive right now. A son is receiving. A daughter is receiving. I'm a father's son. I am my father's son. I am my father's daughter. Right Devil, you cannot have my son. You cannot oh. have my daughter. You cannot Name have my Jesus. niece. You cannot have my nephew. You cannot have my father. You cannot have my mother. Ratoposho, Blessings. 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 Wherever you are, I say to you what I am seeing in the Holy Spirit. As I am speaking, I am speaking as one who has his eyes open. The Lord has placed a shield right now in the lives of people who this week is supposed to be crying. Pain has been removed from you name of Jesus as we are praying here angels are being activated parents will testify that the rebellious sons are coming back to order rebellion sons rebellion daughters the Jesus. Jesus. they cannot have your son they cannot have your ah, daughter in the name of Jesus I am seeing somebody you are in the United Kingdom. You are praying and saying, oh, I wish I could hold the hand of my son. The reason why you cannot hold the hand of your son right now is because your son is in prison. And you know he is there through wrong influence. But he is not the one who has committed the crime. You're crying day and night for your child. You say, Lord, my child, bring him home. The mercies of God can do what nobody else can do. Amen. Countless time, God intervened in the matter of those who were in jail and brought them back. I pray for you that in this day, God may bring your son back. God may bring Jesus. your child back home. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Ramasete Bekata. Some families are average, not by will. No matter the wish, they cannot fly higher. It seems like the enemy has placed something heavy on them that keeps on suppressing them from arising. The entire family has no good story to tell. Everybody is just average. Because if you go beyond, something comes to chop your head. Spirit of no progress. Today I pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mm. 
whatever had cut your progress short be tormented now in the, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus as I say this I see in the spirit I see a man who is a fighter this person I see has been all over the place in fact, I am seeing myself on the other side of the table and it seems like he has a file to present to somebody. Before the file is down, I am hearing a conversation. This one will go nowhere. It is like the enemy had already placed a stigma spiritually on the person I'm seeing, but yet a fighter. If only project by self, could yield result and give you a bit you'll be a mata bilonia now you have good project nothing is manifesting the hand of god has located you right now thank you jesus what did not work before mm. i speak in god will begin to work in your life now in the name of jesus i receive it. somebody say lord remember my family Lord, remember my family. Struggle often spells oppression of the enemy. Struggle. It is natural that you push and feel the struggle of going forward. But here I'm talking about the struggle of pushing you down. Nothing comes to you easy. You struggle, you suffer. Your life is misery. To move from point A to point B is with blood. Mm. The enemy had vowed, you will taste hell while you are on earth. Mm. But today, grace has located you. Thank you, Jesus. The backbone of struggle is broken. In the name I say of Jesus. The backbone of struggle I is receive broken. It. I say it's broken. I receive it. God Himself is making a way for you. Thank you, Jesus. God is leveling the ground for you. I receive God is it. making every crooked way straight for you. I receive God it. God Himself is pushing you to go forward. I receive God it. Himself is lifting you up again. Thank you, Jesus. Resistance is broken. Struggle is destroyed. In the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Jesus. My God. Thank you. From this day forward, it is well with you. I receive it. It is well with your family. I receive Whatever it. you do will not prosper in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From this day forward, you will testify God. Mm. You will testify the goodness of God. I receive You will say, God, God, and He will show up. I receive I say, in the name of Jesus. Now, I see my precious daughters, the pastors, look behind. My pastor, look at Pastor Pastor Ted, you also look behind. All right. Ask the lady look straight behind you not like that straight right in front the, yes ask her are you well ask her what's your name cynthia, Baba. cynthia. ask cynthia are you well are you well cynthia she's not well papa she's not well yes Ask Cynthia, do you come to church or you came for this day? Do you come to church or you came on to today? You come to church here you or this is... You come to church is... every day, every Sunday. You come. She comes sometimes. She comes sometimes. My yes. daughter is prophesying. I tell you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. My daughter is prophesying. Hallelujah. My Jesus. Amen. Pastors. A son does what he sees. My daughter, don't. Okay, be part of it. Okay, move then, move. Let me give you your own. You, move, move, move. you want to prophesy, right? Go yes, back Papa. There. Go back there. Go back. You ask the one who is behind yeah. the future. You ask the one, say, Cindy. 
Cindy. Say, how are you, Cindy? How are you, Cindy? Where is Cindy there? How are you, Cindy? You're prophesying, right? Yes, Papa. Okay, you prophesy on Cindy. Call Cindy. And Cindy? you call Cynthia. Come, come. Cynthia and Cindy, come. <laughs> Somebody give it up for Jesus. Your family is remembered today. I receive it. I see here. I see. It's like people are becoming big. It's like God is making giant today. I receive it. God is making giant. The mighty name of Jesus. Who was prophesying on her? Who's the prophet? Pastor Tandy. The prophet is behind. Prophet, come and finish your work here. Prophetess. Each one with his own. Each one with his own. Now, I prayed for family. And when I saw my daughter, I saw my first daughter, my second daughter. I felt led to pray for you. Do you have children? Yes, Papa. How many children do you have? I have three. You had three children. Yes, Papa. A prophetess, come, come, come together. I tell you, you tell her. I tell you a story. Your name is Cynthia, right? Amen, man of God. You say that, that your name is Cynthia. You come to church sometime. And now, my daughter, she has an issue right now as I speak. She had two children. The first one is Zodua. Zodua was born on the 2nd of February, 2002. Is that correct? Yes, men of God. All right. Now, this is a story. That, that, that is Zodua. Yes. But she says she has three children. I see two pregnancies. The first pregnancy is Zodua's. The second pregnancy is like a two boys. Yeah, and twins. this pregnancy, she gave birth. You keep quiet first, listen, then you pass. She gave birth. Go, go there, go, go, go close. She gave birth on the 5th of May 2005 to two boys. Yes, men of course. Yes. You gave uh, to two boys, gave birth to two boys. Yes. Yes, on the 5th of May. Yes. 2002. Yes. 2002, you gave birth. To Zodua. 2005 to twins. Yes. I see one twin right now in hospital. Oh. The twin is in the hospital, Sister Cynthia. Now, prophet, <laughs> prophetess. Cool down, cool down. <laughs> As we speak right now, he's at Ethanville wow. Hospital. He's admitted. It's okay. Him. What did you say? He's admitted at Edenville Hospital. All right. We are praying for family. Where your family member is, God is facing you. I receive it. Now, since you're here, God is remembering you. Have you ever spoken to me before? No. Have you spoken to her? No. Do you know each other? No. Now, your daughter needs to be prayed for. And God will bring her to line. The second of the second, 2002. Now, two boys, the 5th of May, the 5th of the 5th, 2005. Yes. First, in March, one twin was stabbed in oh. claim CBD. Your twins are giving you a problem, but there is something bigger that is claiming the lives of those children. Your son was stabbed because they wanted his life. I even have the picture. I even have the picture. He was stabbed. He was stabbed. You I even brought the picture. I have the pictures of the one who said it in real and the one who was stabbed last month. All right. You have the picture of the one what? The in one, the hospital. Yes. Right now he's at hospital. Okay. Jesus. God is about to change the story and God is about to punish the devil. Receive oh, yeah. it. This is yeah. what I see. One twin stayed. And another one just came home. 
I fail. And trying to figure out he could not walk the following day. You took him on the 2nd of April to the hospital, Alex Hospital. And then they say, he's uh, kept the disc the, of the kneecap moved. Right now, your child from the 12th of April is in Edenville Hospital waiting for an operation that is still not coming. My Jesus. And they say stopping blood flow, right? Yes, man, of course. <laughs> is he in pain? Tell her to bring the photo. Be the prophetess now. Sister <laughs> Cynthia, bring the photo to church. Bring the photo of the, the sun. Bring the photo of the sun. On the phone. Oh, Lord Jesus. May the Lord remember your family members. In the She's mighty shaking. name of Jesus. You can see that. May God remember your family members. In the name of Jesus. That child who is in jail. Mm. London, I'm speaking to you. That child is being fetched by God. In because your faith Jesus. came across the mercies of God today. I am saying what my eyes in the spirit can see. There is a testimony that is coming to your family today. Receive in the name it. of Jesus. Now, you see, whatever is happening is because the enemy is after the lives of your children. The father died suddenly. He died last year. Sorry? He died last year. He died last year? Yes, man of God. The father died just like that. He died last year. Now the enemy is after the sons. Every child will face his parents' devils. Right. What has defeated your father will look for you. That's why you must be strong as a daughter, as a son. Connect properly to the altar. Mm. The same devil that uh, sucked blood yesterday want more blood. But today is judgment day for that devil. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Lift your hand and pray with me for her. The father died. Yes, man of God. And the same spirit is uh, hunting them. I want to tell you something because... What is happening in your family? There is a person who is bloodthirsty and is doing something against your family. Your, your husband's death was not a natural death. You cannot just collapse like that and uh, rush to the hospital, declare dead on arrival. Oh, Lord. And worse, you're a deacon in the Anglican church. Oh, God. They ate the deacon. That calls for my trouble. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Oh, I'm, I'm speaking off microphone because I don't want to bring strife in the family. Cousin, cousin. Because it's, it's in the family. Oh, Lord. Stretch your hands, church. And pray for her. What you make happen for her. God will make happen for you.
My precious in the Lord, the prophetic is not to bring shame. Yes. It is to build us. As, as God reveals things, it's always to destroy the works of the enemy. That's right. Now, the reason why I have spoken is because God is saying enough is enough. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The works of the enemy cannot carry on like this. Family sometimes, when a family stands against a family, there is no hope. Some pain are caused by people inside, like here. I have told her what is happening with the name of who is behind. Because nothing is hidden to God. May the Lord deal with whoever is dealing with you. In the name of Jesus. I said, may the Lord deal with whoever is dealing with you. In the name of Jesus. From this day forward, the Lord will cause everyone that stands on your way to be moved out by force. In the name of Jesus. You cannot be stopped. I say, you can no longer be stopped. I was Witchcraft will not stop you. Voodoo powers will not stop you. In the name of Jesus. Wizard will not stop you. In the name of Witches Jesus. will not stop you. You are a child of God. You have the nature of God. Mm. Your child will be well. Your child will be well. Amen. And your son's character will begin to change. Because not only that they are already in the radar of the enemy, they are also misbehaving. Boys being boys. But I pray for you. Please come prophetess. Help the prophetess to pray. We pray for you. Release the grace of God. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Prophetess pray. Freedom. 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 The blessings of God are yours and mine in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now my precious daughter, flow in the anointing of your father. Oh, what, what's her name? Ask her what's her name. Cindy is her name, Papa. Cindy. Yes. Cindy. Cindy, God loves you. And God cares for you. Today, as we pray, it may look as if it was just something that happened. Nothing just happens. Amen. Nothing. Everything is orchestrated. Yes. The Lord loves you. Yes. You are going through pain. And your pain is due to the fact that he left. Prophetess, ask where is Akid? Where is he, Cindy? What did you say? Where is he? Oh, where is he? He left. He just left. Who is he? He, hey. the father of my children. The father of your child. Do you know each other? No, Papa. Uh, my, you, my daughter, do you know her? No, I don't know her. You sat together. Did you share information about each other? No, Daddy. My daughter here. Did you share information? No, Papa. No. No. Did you tell me about what I'm saying to you about the father of your child? No. Now let me tell you, or oh, you tell her, this man, an accountant, involved now <laughs> in mining, that is the father of the child, got money, a little bit more money than he normally used to have, through a gold deal, and decided to find another person in Limpopo. Find another younger girl. Prophesy. This man, the father of your children, an accountant, he got a deal and he got more money than he was expecting. And he found a younger girl in Limpopo. <laughs> Yes, that's true. You yes. see, 
Don't just go to Limpopo. Be under the blood. I'm from Limpopo. My province, my province. It's my province. Shiara Bakanta. Now hear this. You, you, you are still in pain. Today, God is dealing with family. Today, God is dealing with family. You are in pain. Do you want him back? You don't want him back? No. The pain is too much, right? You feel, you feel betrayed. You feel he has destroyed you. He betrayed your love. He is. Where are your cows? Where are the cows? They are home. They are stuck. They are stuck. Yes. How many cows? Three cows. Three cows. So, but there used to be five cows. Yes. There used to be five cows. Yes. Where are the other two? He took them. He took them. Do you know how I know that there used to be five cars? I'm surprised. You're surprised? Prophetess, prophesy. Under the unction of my father, mm. Africa. <laughs> hey! There used to be five cars, but now there is three cars. And as my father prophesied, and as I flew in his anointing, the three cars are stuck. Is that true? Yes. It's true. Now, you don't want your husband back. I wanted to pray for him back, but I saw your pain. You feel betrayed. You, you used to fight. I'm seeing like a bet exchange before. Bet exchange. Bet exchange, yes. Is that where you worked before? Yes. Ah, uh, uh, Lord. But not only that, you, you, you are so depressed, you do not know how to go about things. The cars that you have, you used to have five cars together. He came and took two cars because the new girlfriend had to have at least two. Those two cars are given to the new girlfriends. Left the three cars with you, and uh, all those cars are broken. They are right now by Tandos, your mother's place in so way too. Yes. <laughs> yes. Is that correct? Yes, it's correct. Now we want to pray for you that God may restore, that God may heal your wounds first, right? That God may heal you and lead you to a place where you release the pain. I don't want to speak about Sakila. You get even upset. <laughs> because you are bleeding. Mm. Sakile. Saki. Lift your hand, family. Jesus. My precious daughter. Santa, I stretch my hands towards you. May the grace of God be upon you. I want to release that blessing the Lord has given us. Bless you, Santa. Bless you. Bless you. Greet the person next to you, Pastor. Greet the person next to you. See, Seth, how are you doing? How is he doing? He's doing well. Come and prophesy on him. I prayed for you on, on Friday, Pastor. I prayed for you. 
Are you feeling better? Sorry? I can't hear you. You still need to come to me. Oh, okay. You want more, more, more grace, right? Okay. Give me more, Lord, give me more. I want more, Lord, give me more. Elias, Elias, wave to me, Elias. Wave to me, Elias. Yeah, Elias, Elias. Look at him, say, do you want more? Today, it's family. Everybody's prophesying on everybody. Yeah. It's called SV, SV. Ask him, Elias or Elias, ask him, are you well? Do you want more? Ask him, do you want more? Okay, come together then. Come together. I'm seeing a man there. Are you Philip? Philip! Come, Philip. Hallelujah. Restoration of families. Wherever you are, may the grace of God. The glory of God be your portion. I in the name of Jesus. Doctor, come. You also should profess that. Come here. Hallelujah. Okay. Come. Give the doctor microphone. I, I'm Hallelujah. seeing something. I want you to explain it to me. What is an anal fistula? So it's a fistula, Dad, is, is a tract. It's like an open tract that goes from inside the body to outside. So an anal fistula is something that runs from usually at the rectum and goes straight outside without going through the anus. So it's like a tract that, that leads to outside. And it usually oozes pus. So it's an infect, usually caused by infection. Is that what is a fistula? Yes, that's so, so when I'm hearing the spirit, God showed me some, someone when I was here, and he said, this person is struggling of an anal fistula. Yes, so it means that the, whatever you're talking about is, first is true, is... Yes. By the way, how do you memorize all the things that I ask you? <laughs> you know it. I'm afraid that I'll ask you a question when you say, I'll come back to you, my father. But you have never done that. <laughs> Could it be that you and I rehearse those things? No, Not today, I told you that I'll call you and I'll ask you, what's this? Is it so? Uh, we've never done that, no. Dear. But you're speaking from the altar of God. This is not so, right? Which is not so. No. We do not rehearse this. We've never did. It's spontaneous never. that you have all the answers. <laughs> yes. <sir. laughs> Glory to Jesus. I'm seeing someone in pain. Her name is Emily. She was born on the 3rd of March, 1992. Jesus. And she was just behind them. So when I was dealing with them, I saw her. You prophesy on her. <laughs> Amen. What God is doing for one is doing it for I all. Receive, it. receive the blessings I of God. Receive it. I say receive the blessings of I God. Receive it. The eyes of God are on you. The eyes it. of the Lord are on you. I Wherever receive you it. are, may the goodness of God overflow in your life in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Please, come, come. You are set by God. 
Ah, okay, Jesus. this is a beautiful thing. You said together, do you know each other? We don't know each other. We just met in the service. You, 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 you do not know each yeah. other. You just met. Yes. Yeah, because the way I look at you, my son, you are not from Lesotho. And you do not stay in welcome, do you? No, I don't. Then prophesy. Sir, how are you? How are you? I'm okay. The Lord is showing to the prophets that you are from Lesotho. Yes, sir. I am from Lesotho. It's true. Oh, yes. And I am from Velcro. You come from Velcom. I come from Velcom. That's where my home is. All right. <laughs> so you are from Lesotho. You are now coming from Velcom. You are in Velcom in the Free State. Yes. Do you know Bella Bella? That's that's where I come from in Lesotho. You come from Bella Bella. Jesus. Bella in Lesotho. I'm from Lesotho. I told you. How do I know Bella Bella? If I'm not from Lesotho. <laughs> now I, I, I see. This is a man who is a recipient, a recipient of a great anointing. God called him to serve, and he has been faithful. I saw he worked in the bank. It is like an Lesotho bank or so. Yes, that's, that's correct. Is that true? Yes. But he carries two anointing. The priest anointing to serve on the altar, but also a business anointing. In fact, I am seeing in front of him. Even as these winds are blowing, you will go through. There are businesses opportunities that God is uh, giving him that are in Lesotho yes. and also in South Africa. Yes. And God will begin to move in his life as not seen before. Professor. My God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Sir. Under the anointing of the prophet, I see that you have an anointing in business and in ministry. That's true. That's and you true. work in the bank. Yes, I was working for the Soto Bank. But working for the Soto Bank. Yes. But now, the Spirit of God is saying that there are so many business opportunities ahead of you. Because you are trusting God under the anointing over his servant. Your spiritual father. Yes, this is my spiritual father. Yes, he yeah, is my spiritual hey! father. Hey! Prophet Simon of I've God. I've always wanted to come here from the onset. And I came today. I thank God that I'm here today. Hallelujah. Jesus. Now stand up, my son. Oh, Lord. You are called to serve God. Thank you, Jesus. A son represents his father. Mm. In a Lesotho, you represent this anointing. In South Africa, you represent this anointing. You are blessed. Emily is blessed. Your children are blessed. Everything concerning you is blessed. Amen. How many children do you have? Jesus. I've got three. You children. have three children. Yes. Sir. Your children are blessed. The one, do you have a scientist in the family? A what? A scientist. Yes. I've got a boy who has got two masters. He's, he's a scientist in, in Pretoria. Hallelujah. The scientist is blessed. You worked in the bank. You love banking. You love finance. You love yes. uh, uh, mining. You love... Yes. God is taking you even in... Uh, um, you will provide food. You will supply. God is opening great doors. My you will God. have a lot because God is trusting mm -hmm. you with great wealth Jesus. in the kingdom of God. My God. Your ch children are blessed. The scientist is blessed. The one in Pumalang in the bank is blessed. The one Jesus. who worked in a standard bank and now is working in a, like a, a, the card, visa card or so. Yes, she has just resigned two, two months ago. She is now working in the visa cards in, from Dubai. Oh, glory to Jesus. The Lord is blessing you. We pray for you. I'm praying for great impartation. And there is your point of contact. Stretch your hand. We pray for ministry. We pray for him. We pray grace. We Jesus. pray glory. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord do what he say he will do. Thank you, Lord. 
Elias Elias, right? Okay. Who's prophesying on who? Where is Hamas crowd? Where is Hamas crowd? I stay Hamas crowd. You what? I stay Hamas crowd. I born Hamas crowd. Okay, you are born in Hamas crowd. You stay yes. in Hamas crowd. Yes. You are from Hamas crowd. Yes, I am from Hamas crowd. Jesus power. Oh yes. Power. Say Jesus power. Jesus power. Hey! Say it again. Jesus power! Say it One more time. Jesus power! Oh, oh, do you understand Jesus power? What is it? Uh, it's my church, the name oh. of my church. Hallelujah! Do you know him? You don't know him? I don't know him. Do you know? No, say. I don't know him. <laughs> I don't know him. He is a minister of God. He loves God and God will do great things. I met him on Friday. Amen. You are a minister of God. You sit next to each other. Did you talk ministry? No. You didn't? We didn't. Jesus power. Jesus power. <laughs> Not like a Janet power, but Jesus power. Jesus power. Stretch your hands. We pray the blessing. You want more, the Lord will do more. All right? Develop. God gives us what yes. we need so we may cultivate what He has given us. Mm -hmm. Now, as God sets you on the path, all that is required of you is that you may work it out. You work out your salvation. You work out the anointing. What you have as a seed grows to become great. Yes. What you make happen for them, God will make happen for you. Have you been coming to church here? It's, it's twice now. It's twice? Yes. When was the first time? The first time I come, it was a Good Friday last year. Last year, Good Friday. Yes. Like today, you left your church, you came here. Today, I left the church and I come here. I come here and I say, when I left, I say, today is my day. And then, if I see, I see you. You talk to me, don't talk to me, but I got the anointing. You are. Hey! As you go back, the Lord will show himself differently. Thank you, Jesus. Because he's blessing you with new grace, new anointing. Amen. You believe that? Amen. Yes. So you came alone? I came with a, a sister. She's, she's working here in the, in the church. She's, Lorraine. Lorraine. You came yes. with Lorraine. She's part of the church. Yeah, she's, she's, she She invited you? Yes, she invited me. Okay, Lorraine. The first time I was coming with her also. Oh, Lorraine. Yes. Oh, Lorraine. <laughs> no, not in Lorraine, in God. She go. For everything I am, I owe to you. Oh, that again. There is nothing impossible or too hard for you to do. You are bigger than what we call you. Daddy, in you I put my trust. She called Kiki. For everything I am, I owe to you. Nobody there. There is nothing impossible or too hard for you to do. You are bigger than what we call you. We want to carry on in the third service. I gotta release you and release the branches that are connected. The Lord will do something awesome in your life, in your life. I receive. You are Philip. Philip, come. It's not over. Who is the prophet that I call? I call you with no prophet. It's prophetless. <laughs> All right, you become the prophet. <laughs> Hey! 
Men of God, yes, sir. Philip, you are alone right now. Things are very difficult. I see him. He used to like drive. Things are very difficult, and you used to drive. But I'm driving buses. Do you do drive buses? But things are tough right now. And things are tough right now. You feel like you are alone, and you need help. And you feel like you are alone, but you need help. Is that correct? You have a child. You have a child. Matidiso. Is that your child? Jesus. Can you confirm what the man of God is saying? Yes, my child is Matidiso, Pastor. Oh, Pastor she doesn't care. Doesn't care. She doesn't even look at me. The mother of Matidiso. The mother of Matidiso to Duzile. Philip is giving me a high five here. My God. Things have been very tough, and you have paid Lobola for. Yes, 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 yes. I've paid Lobola for. You are not stuck because God has you. From this day, as the man of God speaks, God will begin to move you. The Lord He serves. You will see the grace of God. Thank you, Jesus. And everyone who mocks you before, my name is Aflokau. Yeah. Somebody pray the Holy Ghost. The same anointing that God has for one, he has for another. And as you connect to what God is doing for one, he's also doing for you. And receive the grace. God. Yes, I Lord. Will save it. Yes, Lord. Ababasia. Yes, Lord. So shall it be, Doctor. Jesus. Please verify that she has what I spoke to you about. And that this has caused her many pain. Look at young, beautiful. But she has that pain. My sister, can you verify that you have a fistula in Aino? Yes. I did the operation in 2012. They put something, I don't know how to call it, something. They say I would do uh, something like this blue, like this pipe they put inside my pipe. Even now I'm living in there. I still have a pain too much. The pain is too much since after my operation. Can I hear that, Prophet? Yes, that she's confirming that she does have a fistula in Aino and that they've made an attempt to treat it. She had surgery in 2012 for, for the fistula. They inserted a pipe called Seton, and uh, if, even since then, she's still in pain. Do you know each other? No, we don't know. Look at him. Did you speak to him? Maybe you went to his consultation and uh, you have spoken to him of something so intimate and so painful. Do you know each other? Did you speak? No, I don't know. Now, I'm asking you that not because I want to entertain anyone or because I just want to take you for a ride on this. I am saying this because I want you to know that the eyes of God are on you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus heals. Mm. Jesus heals. Stretch your hand. She's in pain, right? Yes. I think sitting should be very painful. Doc, do you believe God is about to do a miracle, mm. perform a miracle now? I'm certain of it. First. Do you believe that? Yeah. Certainly. Is there anybody who believes that our God is a miracle working God? Yes, I believe. You believe that God is a miracle working God? Yes. Stretch your hand. As you pray with me for her, God is remembering you and healing you. God is touching you and will do you good. Thank Heal you, us, oh God. Heal her. In the name of Jesus. Heal! In the name of Jesus. Heal! In the name of Jesus. Mm.
Anointed doctors are praying here. Hospitals will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. I was when I see uh, Sister Lorraine one day, I say, You know, Sister Lorraine, I want to plead to God and ask you. All right, she, she's he's, he's so so blessed for Sister Lorraine. Where is Sister Lorraine? Where is uh, you, the Sister Lorraine, they're talking about? So, you've been winning souls. <laughs> oh, you, you brought the pastor. It's you, Sister Lorraine. Yes, How did. do you know each other? He, can I say, erected a church uh, at the corner of my house, my mother's house. Oh. Yeah, so my mother went there and then we met. <laughs> uh, I see, I see. So nothing just happens. You've been invited and. I saw and then I believe that God is, is alive because I say and then he do it. Now I'm staying in front of you. Can you imagine? I didn't believe. <laughs> you didn't believe that, huh? I, I, I didn't believe my eyes. Uh, God is about to shock somebody. Hallelujah. I, uh... It speaks like an evangelist. You feel yes. tender. It's a man of power. Yes. I pray for you. And Teddy, you know, when, when we met and I told him, I am a daughter of the prophet of God, Alf Lukau. And he said, I know Alf Lukau. I've been, uh, I, I knew him from, he said from Lindes or something. Yeah, and he's, and I know he loves you. Teddy, he loves you, he loves you. You love me, I love you more. <laughs> with you on TV. All the time I pray with you on TV. So for this long, you knew me, you loved me. Hey. On TV. Secret love exists. <laughs> ah, somebody say it's a love affair. It's a love affair. And the Lord will do what he say will do. I love you too and I thank God that you are here. I trust that the Lord who brought you here will do something. Your point of contact, God will bless you. Where's Mama Anna? Mama! <laughs> Mama! Mama! Hallelujah! Oh yeah! Nothing is hidden to the prophet. Whether he says it or not, nothing is hidden. Atratis is about to be defeated. Doctor, you, you pray. Oh, let me look for another prophet. Oh, prophet has come. Come and deal with Mama Anna. You'll be here. <laughs> the devil is in trouble. How do you see? How do you know? How can you tell? How can you reveal? Impossible, I agree. It's only God. Jesus. There are certain things that men cannot do. Only yes. God can. Only God. Only God can. Glory that is Mama. to Jesus. That is Mama. All right, stretch your hand. Pastor, lift your hand. I give you the grace you desire. Go and be who God called you to be. Serve God with power. Yes. The Lord had honored your faith. I release grace over you. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Change lives wherever you go. Amen. Glory Lay hands Jesus. on money. Mama, we're praying for you. Arthritis leaves you. The pains leaves you. And God Jesus. will transform you. Prophet, Thank you, pray. Jesus. My daughter, mm. we also pray for you. That the grace of God. Son, please come. Oscar, come. 
Have me pray Glory to Jesus for my daughter. The desires of your heart, God is giving it to you. Do you believe that? Take it, 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 take it. Receive it. Receive it. What they're praying, I want you to stand up and lift Jesus. your hand. I release you into the blessing of this day. I release you into what the Lord has set for you and I for will me. Save it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I, receive I it. cancel everything of the enemy. In the name what of Jesus. What did not work before in your life, I decree, I declare, begins to work now. Thank you, Jesus. I say it begins to work now. I say it begins to work receive now. Receive it. Receive the grace of God. Receive the blessings of God. I receive Your family it. is blessed of God. In the name Your of Jesus. Your family will never be the same again. I receive I it. I release you to what the Lord has said. Thank in you, Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus the name of Jesus. Name. Free in the name of Jesus. Receive Free. it. Receive your freedom. In the name of receive Jesus. Receive your freedom. In the name receive of Jesus. Receive your freedom. Receive that. I bless you with the blessings of God. I receive it. The name of Jesus. Bless you, my precious daughter. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your family is well. Your family is well. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you, thank Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Do what you say you will do. I bless you today. Thank you, Lord. I bless your family today. I receive the blessings. I decree and I declare the grace of God is yours. I receive it. You are up and not down. In the name of Jesus. I say it is well with you. I receive it. No sickness, no disease. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What men cannot do for you, may God do for you. I receive it. What is impossible to one, may you receive from God. Receive it. In Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. May God grant you his grace. May God grant you his favor. May you have Jesus. from God what money cannot buy. What material Jesus. things cannot produce. I bless you with the blessings of God. Receive it. May it be well. May it be well Jesus. for you. May it be well for your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. May you prosper I in receive everything it. you do. I say may you prosper in everything you do. Jesus. What did not work before. I decree, I declare, may it begin to work. In the name of may it Jesus. begin to work. In the name may it begin to work. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. You are blessed. I receive Sickness it. is living. Name of Jesus. Sickness is living. Go, go, go now. Jesus go. name. Go now. Sickness is living. The name of Jesus. There will be no bad news coming to in you. In the name of no Jesus. No bad news in your family. In the name of Jesus, I, I decree and I declare, you will live to tell the story of God. You live I to testify the goodness of God. You live and confess, yes. confess that Jehovah is God. May you be free today. I say, may you be free today. In the name may of you Jesus. be free today. Free. Your home is free. I Your family it. is free. It is well with you. In the name I of say Jesus. it is well with you. It is well I say with it me. Is well. Take it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name Receive of it. Jesus. Receive it. Receive In the name it. Name of Receive Jesus. it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Take 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 it. In the name the of Jesus. The blessings of God. The grace of God. The glory of God. Receive the power it. of God. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it! Take it! I will Take it! It is anointing that is working, breaking the yoke of the enemy. It is the anointing. You devil break your power. In the name freedom, of Jesus. Freedom. Freedom. And impartation. Maria Basete. 
You feel it tired going through you. Jesus. Bring him up. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Bring him up. God is working something in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I remove it. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name free the name of Jesus everywhere you go you will flourish the name you will of flourish Jesus. you will flourish I was fire say there is fire in you too there is fire in you too there is fire, there is fire. The name of there is Jesus. fire. Take it. Take it. The name Take of it. Jesus. Take it. Take it. Fire. I say fire. I say Jesus fire. Name. I say fire. 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 Save it. Receive it this side. Take name what is Jesus. yours. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus, HIV is defeated. The name of Jesus, HIV is defeated. In Jesus' name, HIV is gone. In the name of Jesus, HIV is gone. Receive your healing. Cancer is gone. Receive your healing. Sugar diabetes is gone. Receive it. Our blood pressure is gone. In the name of Jesus, that is breaking addictions. Rebasete. Addictions. That is breaking addictions. Receive your freedom. An alcoholic is being set free. Jesus. Jehovah. Jehovah. My God. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it, this Are you ready? Begin to receive it. Take it. Receive it. His grace. The name Take it. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This Monday will be different. You will feel light. You will feel light. Receive it. The unction of God, the anointing is going through this man. Going through this man. Thank it's going through Lord. this man. The power of God. Thank you, Lord. There goes. There goes. There it goes. Mama, receive it. 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 This week, you will feel like God has given you new wings to fly. I will see that. You will feel new wings to fly, to fly, to fly, to fly, to fly, to fly, to fly. To fly, to fly, take it! In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Pray the Holy Ghost. Pray, my daughter. Pray, 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 pray. 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 I'm seeing it. God is setting it. Baraba, somebody's kidneys are being healed now. My daughter, Jesus. new grace. I see it. Save it. I'm saying it because I'm seeing it. Save it. It's all over you. Bring up. You to receive wherever you are. I will save it. Maria Baba Basete. Take it! Zete Rebe Koto. Blessed and healed. Blessed and healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Thank Jesus, you, Jesus, for healing. He remembered you. Thank you, Jesus. He has remembered you. He has Hallelujah. remembered you too. He has remembered you too. In the name of Jesus. If you may, if it's not too much to ask, take your own hands and lay them on your hands. You have laid the hands on family. Now, now, 
Now. Jesus. Now. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to speak blessings over Jesus. you. Speak blessings over you. My God. It's yours, right? It's Thank yours. you, Jesus. It's yours. Receive the blessings it's of yours. God. Laba Soto. When your time comes, it's your time. Nobody can take yes. it. It is your time, my daughter. It is your time. We save it. A testimony is coming up. We save it. A testimony. It. Damn it! Jesus. Baba Soto. You're blessing yourself with the blessings of the Lord. Jesus. Wherever you are here, take what the Lord has in store for you. Glory to Take Jesus. what God has. Take what God has. He has remembered you. He knows you. He loves you. He cares for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Freedom, freedom in the overflow. More oh, grace in the overflow. Hallelujah. La basia de la de. Save it. Mm. Oh God. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for blessings from our Father. Thank you, Jesus, for setting your people free. We give you glory. Begin to prophesy over yourself. Release blessings over yourself. Declare the blessings of God. And so shall it be. So shall it be. I am blessed. I am blessed. Jesus. Jesus. Somebody decree the blessings of God upon your life. For freely... Our Father has released upon our lives, sealed a family blessing. Great blessing spiritually. We have been charged spiritually. What did not work will begin to work. What the Father has released over us is priceless. Just begin to thank Him. Father, we thank You. Lord, we bless You. Thank You for Your blessing. It is the Father's blessing over our families that we needed and we have received it. Oh God, we bless you. Now under the supreme grace of our Father, I bless your Monday. I say I bless your Monday. I bless your Tuesday. I bless your Wednesday. I bless your Thursday. I bless your Friday. I bless your Saturday and Sunday. Go now in the uncommon peace and the favor of Almighty God. God bless you. Stay for the third service. If you online connect as the prophet, will come back. God bless you. Shalom. Thank you for tuning into our broadcast. We trust that you've been blessed. For more information and resources, visit our website at www.alleluiaministries.com. For our prayer line, you may call the numbers on your screen.
Tune in to our next broadcast. Stay blessed.